commitment here at Jury Maker is to provide you with genuine gemstones. Many places might not be able to do that, but we want to guarantee it. So how do we do it? We go to the laboratories and we get tests. We have our own in-house gemologists that can guarantee that when we say genuine gemstones, that's exactly what you're getting. Once the gemstones leave the laboratory, it's then down to the quality control process. This is a really stringent process, which is completed by Rally and by Ithaca. Random strands are taken from each one of the lots, and you get the average size, carat weight, and length of each strand. And this is done so that you know the information that you see on your screens is correct. Here at Jury Maker, we have a commitment to providing genuine gemstones. We do that by up to three lab tests and we have our own in-house gemologists. That therefore means that when we say genuine gemstones, that's exactly what you're getting. Jewelry makers! Hi! Uh, uh, she's back! I tell you what, you can't shake me off, can you? Uh, I'm like a bad smell. Just keep coming back. Uh, lovely. Good morning, everybody. How are you? My name's Eleanor. And of course, you're watching Jewelry Maker. I do love at the beginning of that slide how they go L E L. It's just L. If it's, if, well, I suppose that would be how you spell it. But um, um, if, you, if you start doing it like my brother, it would just be the letter L. That's why he puts like, that's really lazy, isn't it? Anyway, I hope you're well. I hope you've had a fantastic week thus far. It's the weekend, um, and I'm joined by this gorgeous lady right here. Hello, honey. Hello. Long time no see. In ages. How long has it been? Uh, far too long. I know. Far too long. I know. See, that's the one thing, because I work opposites pretty much to you now, don't Hello, I? That's it. So it means that I don't get to see all my jewellery maker friends. I know. We miss you. I miss you too. Oh. I miss you too. Um, literally, before the show, I'm running around saying hello to everybody because <laughs> I'm not normally, normally in it this time of day. So, running around, there, hiya, hiya, yeah, I still exist. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I hope you're well. I've got an incredible show lined up for you. Some amazing strands, including an incredible Tanzanite, which is coming your way. Um, and I will show you that in a moment. Early Bird is awesome. Incredible Biwa pearls, which I absolutely adore. I know, uh, I know, Sarah, you've got your, your eagle eye on a few of these strands, haven't you? I have. It's the one next to the VWA pearls. I'm yes, I know the Tanzanite. Mm -hmm. And I was just talking to one of our lovely, uh, lovely uh, workshop ladies, and she was asking me about gemstone of new uh, for, for for birth. And of course, it is Tanzanite. It is. It yes. is uh, the gemstone of new beginnings and new birth. And she said, "What? What? My, what, my sister's just had a baby. What gemstone do I get? Has to be Tanzanite." So she's she'll be glad that she's in that room next door. That's it. She she'll does. be very, very, very glad with the lovely Linda Bromwell, of course. Lovely Linda Bromwell. There she is. Now, um, it'd be very reminiscent of me not to say that there are a certain superstar uh, of the jewellery maker crew. It happens to be a special day today. Uh, we were just talking about how you know you're getting old when you have to ask yourself what today's date is when it's your birthday. <laughs> he did that. Ollie! Happy birthday! It's all, are you coming out? Are you gonna come out? You gotta come out! 
Yeah, and I know we can't sing, but happy birthday, mate! Thank you very much. Yeah! Thank you. Thank you. Mwah. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> um, how young are you now? No, don't. You don't have to answer that, really. That's right. I'm 34. 34. So it's only a number, anyway. Exactly. So it's, yeah. it's only a number. It's up there, isn't it? It's, you're only as old as the woman you feel. Okay. My wife's older than me. Oh, is she? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. Uh, yeah. It has to be blue. It has to be oh. blue. And oh, look at that. Birthday oh. cake and everything. Here we get a shot. Uh -oh. um, look, look, what look what happened. It wasn't like that. Oh, dear. <laughs> what did it say once upon a time? Oh, happy, happy, happy birthday, and then... Ha hairy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday, then. Thank you very I much. I assume that was Ollie at the bottom there. Yeah. Assume that was Ollie. Ah, oh, don't eat it all at once, will Thank you? Thank you very don't much. Don't eat it all at Thank once. You. Happy birthday, Ollie. Thank you very much. Yeah, do you know what I always say? My new saying, by the way, is um, my age is entirely inappropriate for my behaviour. <laughs> I think mine's always been. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> my age is entirely inappropriate for my behaviour. I don't, I don't like my age, and I never will. Never ever will. There's no point in getting old, is there? Nah. Actually, in your, you, you stay as long, young as you, you want to. Exactly. Right? Grow old disgracefully, I say. Definitely. Absolutely. That's <laughs> what I say. Anyway, uh, shall I show you some of these amazing strands that I've got coming up? Now, uh, it had to be blue, so therefore, what would be the one gemstone that our Dion would absolutely love to bring you? Um, well, it is, and, and by the way, this is on a whole other level. Uh, I don't know if you've actually heard, but we, and I was just, again, telling some of the workshop ladies, I'll speak some more about it during the auction. This is coming up in the nine o'clock hour, so this hour, you haven't got long to wait for this. Look at the quality of this stand tonight. I mean, it's all about that wonderful saturation. This is coming up approximately 10 o'clock. Oh, there we go, 10 o'clock. Um, not available for pre-orders. I don't know in terms of quantity how many we've got available in the vault. I'm guessing it's not gonna be huge. Yeah, 80, there's 80 of these available in the world. So very, very limited. You'll need to make sure I'm poised, ready to pounce on the phone lines and on the web to grab this. Um, top quality, big carrot weight of tanzanite, certainly some of the biggest that I've seen. Let's show you these Biwa pearls as well, because I adore Biwa pearls. I like this sort of organic formation uh, that you actually see. Let me just tuck that, I've got, I've got a little thread showing. Look at these, uh, beautiful organic formation. Great for texture these are, aren't they? I mean, uh, uh, Sarah, Definitely. what do you use Biwa pearls for? Um, I use them in lots of bridal pieces in tiaras and hair combs because they've got all that texture they catch yes. all the light on every move that's it and they suit every hair tone as well they so do they do pills are always appropriate as coco chanel once said but i agree with all the sort of the, the formations of them they mm. do play with the light so you get that wonderful pearlescence across the surface um just incredible they're coming up at midday <clears throat> i've also got um I've got wonderful, wonderful garnet. Look at these. These are amazing. Um, now, these are 925 sterling silver. Let me just move that out of the way. 925 sterling silver. You get, uh, is that 20? 10, oh, yes, look, because they're bigger. T uh, you get 10 pieces. Find myself some tweezers now. Um, they're round cuts, uh, round brilliant cuts and pear cuts. Thank you. Have we got a tweezer anywhere? Hmm. Uh, just because I know you won't be able to see them if I'm holding them like this. We'll find one. I'll do my very best to hold it without, without actually shadowing the actual connector. So you've got two different, uh, two different sort of details. 925 sterling silver, uh, beautifully, beautifully faceted, uh, round brilliant cut and then Aussie pick. I know I'm hiding them with my nails a little bit, but you get 10 of these. I will get some tweezers so you can actually show. I can actually show you them properly. Um, these are coming your way uh, again within the show. I've not seen these previously before. They're going to add a, a really luxurious detail, aren't they? Um, so again, not available for pre-order, but they are coming your way. Um, I've got your early bird specials. I've got, of course, kits to bring you. We've got challenges to bring you, etc., etc. And I've got lots of clearance opportunities to bring you as well. Clearance is a great word, isn't it? It's a great, great word. So early bird. Now you have got all of this wax cord. Let me show you one, two, uh, three three spools of your wax cord in your green, your red, and also in your grey. Uh, three spools of that, and they are metres, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, they're one millimetre, and you get ten metres of each. So, love those colour, colour, colour combination together. Really, really work well together. But you're not just getting that. 
So pop those down there so you can see. Uh, you're also getting your satin cord. I love the satin cord. Uh, great for Kumihimia, both of these obviously, which I know uh, Sarah is the absolute master of. <laughs> uh, you've got three spools of this she is, ducking around, <laughs> ducking around in the background. Uh, look at this, so you've got your black, your blue and your white uh, in your satin cord, again equally 10 metres off. It's got a lovely glossy sheen isn't it, satin cord? It has and it works so beautifully, it just makes beautiful Slides. knots and yeah, it just, it's, and it's so nice on the hands when you use it as yeah. well. Yeah, it's beautiful. I know what you mean. It's not going to give you any sort of. If you're working with it for any length of time, mm. then it's 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 not going to hurt your hands. Then you've got your Kumihimo accessories. Now I can remember when I was up in the office upstairs, you were crying out for these. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, not literally crying, but you were. You you were desperate to get hold of these because they really make the difference, don't they? They do. They make the difference of any of your projects where you use lots of cords. They give you that professional finish. So yeah. Took everything away and tied you all up, and it's just. And the, the end, you know, the, the, the finishing touches, mm -hmm. that's what turns a piece from a beautiful piece into an amazing piece. That's it, and it just means that you can use so many cords where you would, wouldn't be able to get a neat finish without yeah. having these. They're just brilliant. So in this you actually get uh, three of each, so, so is that right? Three of each, yes. So you've got your little bells, you've got your little uh, toggle clasps there and your, and your rings, etc. But we're not done there. You're also getting, there is more now. For fine detail work, GS Precision Applicator. Okay, I'm not even going to pretend to know what this is for. Okay, so it's glue with a really fine tip, so you're not going to get a big blob. No, it's got an incredibly fine, as you can see on the on the picture on the top of it there, it's got yeah. an incredible, it's like a needle point niz, uh, nozzle on it. And it's so easy to get into. If you want to, um, doing your macrame for instance, and you want glue to go in between a knot, you can put glue right in between that knot. Right. Rather than some glues that have got a really wide nozzle. Yeah, it's you couldn't just use like super glue or other, uh, other glues are available because they're, 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 they're a big Yeah, that's it, you're going to get a big drop. And you, then you, if you know, sometimes you end up sort of getting your toothpick and trying to get the glue in the right yeah. place from other points. You don't need to. And the nozzle's quite long, so it allows you to get into little tiny gaps as okay. well. Okay, so um, uh, can I just point out as well, um, you know how expensive some of those glues are as well? <laughs> very expensive. Very, very, very expensive. <laughs> I've got no clue what this is going to. No clue whatsoever. I'm just thinking of, of I know I've bought super glue and other glues, you know, that, mm -hmm. that really strong glue in the past, and I know the price tag. But it is our early bird special, so you're getting all of this, six spools of your cords, and of course your precision applicator glue, and of course your Kumihimo uh, end pack. So are you ready, early bird? First auction of the, of the day. I mean, you would pay at least, a, oh, you pay at least eight pounds for, for the glue itself and you wouldn't have that precision end. Okay, there we go, early bird special, 10 pounds only uh, for, one, for 60 meters of cord that you're seeing here, uh, your glue and also your ends. Do you know that's an absolutely amazing price. If I was to break that down as the prices I can pay elsewhere, it's just amazing. Absolutely, I can't believe the value. I mean, I've paid for five metres of cord, I've paid over three pounds before. Yeah, but well, you know what, I, I, was, I say often, um, here at Jewelry Maker, and I also say it on our sister channels, it's very easy for us to get quite complacent. Yeah. And what I mean by that is complacence in the gemstones, complacence certainly in the pricing that we bring you here at Jewelry Maker, because I have to remind myself every single day, look, Eleanor, this is not normal. This is not normal pricing, um, but not for this quality. I've worked in those industries, and I, and I do sort of buy, uh, I, I like doing, making things for sort of my home, et cetera, et cetera. I'm not a very skilled jewelry maker, but I do sort of uh, quite a bit of DIY, and I like sort of revamping furniture. That's, that's, mm. that's something that I like doing. So I know, so the cost that you would pay for pe uh, equipment, I suppose, and tools that you would, uh, you would use for that, and, and it would certainly, and I should be coming straight here, really, well, because it. more than likely jewelry makers you get, is going to have it all there. Now that's why I suppose, uh, well not I suppose it is, why Jewelry Maker is winning award after award after award and the same with our sister channels because we are hands down I believe the most competitive um, in, our, in our field quite literally. Uh, loads of you on the phone lines, lots of you multi-buying and I assume you would maybe multi-buy on this Sarah. Definitely, I mean just to have the ends and the glue 
and then you've got all that core to make all your projects yeah with. so you're, you're going to use your glue it's something that you kind of carry around with you it's something I carry in my toolbox so I have mine here <laughs> so and is, it, is, it, is it usable for other other mediums as well of course yes I mean you can use it to stick um, you pearls know. onto those. Yeah, those if you've got half, if you've got um, half drill pearls, use yeah. those to you use it to stick those onto your findings. There we go. Um, you can use it for putting your kumihimo end caps on. You can use it for um, doing your macrame knots. You can use it for just about anything. I mean, I've used my specialist glues before now to stick my kitchen handle back on. <laughs> that makes sense. Because I know what you mean when they, when you pull the cupboard and the cupboard door comes yeah. off. Yeah, I know yeah. which ones you mean. So in. you know they've got um, lots of got integrated <laughs> cupboards. Yeah, totally know where you're coming from. Um, right, get. Uh, yeah, stay on those phone lines. Keep on coming through. Very, very busy this morning. Um, and by the way, if you have got any messages, text into the studio. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, you can message in. Um, you can do that by, by all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. And it's 6077. Is that the number? Gosh. I tell you what, I'm like an elephant, you know. <laughs> uh, I, I have got a weird memory. Start your text though with JM Studio, um, and of course it will come direct to us here in the studio. If you've got any messages for Sarah, any questions for Sarah, or messages for Dion or Ollie for his birthday, of course, uh, then please do send them in. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Congratulations, like I say, loads and loads and loads of you multi buying. Uh, lots of you still dialing through. Ollie's worried now, says, I bet you I get no messages. Ah, oh. oh, I bet you do. I bet you do. We've got one text, by the way. Already we've got one, which is fantastic. It's about the diameter of the cords. Okay. It's one millimeter. I beg your pardon. Yes, I should have told you that. It's one millimeter in the satin cord and one millimeter for your um, uh, wax cord as well. So here's another text message. JM Studio. Good morning, Elle. Mwah. Uh, lovely to see you back. Lovely to be, be, be back with you, Susan and Ian. Uh, and Sarah. Looking forward to seeing your fab Aww. designs. I got some glue in, well, uh, in a well-known shop and it cost five ninety nine. Mm-hmm. And I bet it was one of those tiny ones, and then when you use it, yeah. you get a you you you, you put the cap back on, and you can't undo the cap. Yeah, this this one is perfect. It's got like a little needle in the lid yeah. that goes in the tube where the glue comes out, so it can't block up. I've had mine. You have to cut it then, don't yeah. you? Those other ones, you have to keep cutting, uh, and then then yeah. then unfortunately the blob that comes out is even bigger than uh, the first time. And then it glues up even quicker. Then it glues up even quicker the next time, and so <laughs> you cut it. You can only use it once, really, can't you? That's the thing. And some of them are very specific to what you can actually use them on, so they're not a multi-purpose. Yeah. No, no, it's a really it. multi-purpose one. Uh, Chantal is asking. Morning, ladies. Uh, does the glue work on leather? And happy birthday, Ollie. I w yes, I would imagine it would work on, on leather. I would imagine yeah, so. Maybe put leather into the, into the cord ends. Uh, if, you, if it's going into the cord ends, it works absolutely fine. So it would, if you, you use it with the satin, I could imagine it would work with the leather because you've got that porous nature of the yeah. leather that will allow it to uh, um, adhere. So I can't see it being any problems. Always try and scrap anyway. Um, to sit, and also, sometimes it takes a little bit different curing time. So I always try yeah. a little bit of scrap just to check my curing times as well. Yeah, just leave it maybe a little bit longer. Yeah. But I would imagine it would because oh, if you if it, certainly if I look at if I think about pieces that um, we commission on on our other channels, then with the leather and they tend mm -hmm. to have the so th they are glued onto the 925 sterling silver. So yeah, it's it, it's got to be some kind of glue, and I imagine it would mm -hmm. be what 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 we we're providing right yeah. now. So well done to every single one of you. Your early bird special, um, uh, 995 only. And like I said, um, I, I just have a, a do do this, Sarah. And have you have you ever been escorted off the premises yet? of one of our sort of competitive companies uh, not yet but I do go around and I am very um, <laughs> um, I have once been asked to leave a jewelry shop yeah <laughs> I have. <laughs> Were you writing all the prices down as you went round? <laughs> no, I think I wasn't writing the prices down, but it was written across my face. You know, I was kind of like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Nah. <laughs> uh, I wasn't actually laughing, but yeah, they did just say uh, they did say spot me from gems. I did have a lovely conversation with a lady outside a jewellery shop. She was looking at um, a particular. It was a very highly fashionable piece of jewellery for a couple of years ago, and I did sort of say to her, you know, if you go and have a look at this website you'll be able to buy all the components and make it yourself for a fraction of the cost good <laughs> exactly exactly um, that's it promoting jewelry making mm. family uh, France says hello to you in Sterling show she says I love Ollie so keep the bargains coming oh. we love him too Francis we love him too and I hope he remembers us when he's an international star you know uh, is an international star as long as, as, long as we get back to these uh, passes Ollie yeah is that all right um, uh, and do we get a birthday sing song? 
Do you get a birthday sing song at all today? No? I think we can, I think we can persevere with this. I think we can persevere. Um, by the way, if you've never heard Ollie, Ollie's um, uh, band and, and his songs, they are amazing. Um, I'm constantly being asked about it on our sister channels, especially with our US viewers. Go on to YouTube, um, go on to YouTube at Equal, Wo Equal World, and you'll see um, some of uh, Ollie's music. A couple of videos on there. They're amazing, aren't they? Have the tissues ready. Yeah. <laughs> it's lovely. Definitely, definitely really have the lovely. tissues ready. And you are the lead singer, music. aren't you, Ollie? Mm. It's just you. Oh, on the Equal World. Sorry, I was going to say it's not the band. It's just you on the Equal World one. Um, yeah, it's amazing. Really, really, really lovely. And we get so many comments mm -hmm. about it. And there is a D uh, there is a CD rather now. Mm -hmm. So and it's all going to charity. So incredible. Uh, well done. Gotta move on. Gotta move on. Yeah, we need to really promote that. Moving on to what? Sorry, number Uno. Well, that's a good place to start, isn't it? Good place to start. Oh. This is your challenge, Sarah, if you choose to accept it. Oh, go on then. The message was self-destruct. Definitely can accept that one. That's beautiful. If, yes. Oh, my word. Have you seen how many strands there are in here? I know. I'm going and to this is one of those clearance. Hang on a minute. You've got round, uh, so, so you've got round puffy coins. Then you've got uh, beautiful drops. Then you've got oval puffy coins. And you've got... Um, sort of those angular beads, you know, where they've got, I'll show, I'll show you on the back of the hand. Very difficult to describe this actual shape. Four strands. Oh, it's, it, it's like a snowy winter morning with incredible, incredible sort of, uh, do, you, do you know when you open your curtains in the morning and then you see, uh, and maybe it's a frost or it's been snowing and the sunlight is capturing across the, across the sort of snow and frost mm. and you get those flashes of light and brilliance? You do. That's what you get with this wonderful, wonderful crackled quartz. Crackled quartz is, uh, it's, it's obviously gem quality quartz, heated up to a very high temperature and then quenched. Um, a bit like if you drop an ice cube maybe in a gin and tonic, you know how, how, yeah, how it, uh, yeah, see, trust me, you can tell I'm in, in weekend mode. Uh, it, it crackles and forms that wonderful texture. Now, fully, fully stable, obviously, but you get this beautiful detailing within each of the gemstones. And you just mentioned earlier on with the Biwa Pearl, Sarah, that it's great for bridal. Oh, definitely, yes. So this, I, um, mm. I'd love to, I can't wait to see what you're going to do with I this. I know, I'm going to be very busy. Um, <laughs> now, it is a clearance, as Dion said. Four strands should be £30.80. pence. Absolutely feasible. Do you know quartz? Right, quartz is an ab abundant mineral. Gem quality quartz is, is is a total different entity. Clearance price for you though. We're not bringing. It, oh my goodness, that is. Let's call that half price, give or take. It is near on half price for you. You've got the the different facets of uh, of the of the beads as well. You've got that wonderful sort of angular shape. That is uh, at least forty percent off, isn't it? at least 40% off um, so big 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 clearance opportunity for you and try and do the maths now I've got a, a 200 carats 165 160, uh, so three, uh, 365 465 505 595 carats in total that you're seeing here gosh I impressed myself that I actually managed to count that because I am rubbish at maths uh, yeah over five carats are you impressed with that Dion? yeah and I'm rubbish at maths Absolutely, absolutely rubbish. So well done to each and every single one of you. I want to put the Beaver Pearls maybe with this. Do you know what you're going to do with this, Sarah? I don't yet. I'm thinking, I'm thinking definitely I'm going to do um, maybe a tiara or a hair comb with it because I just think that the light would look beautiful. But I think I'm also going to do some really sort of nice, uh, just really sort of casual jewellery with it that you could just put on every day. Oh, do you know what I'm thinking? And I, I, I'm, you can tell I'm desperate for holiday. Um, I keep, I'm obsessed with, with, with a white maxi dress. I'm desperate to wear my white maxi dress because then it is officially summer when you get your white maxi dress out. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking something with that, like white jewellery, white maxi mm. dress, yeah, pair of sandals, yeah. quite angelic. Mm. And do you think I could pull that off? Definitely. Uh, yeah. What? Oh yeah, white maxi dress maybe. <laughs> <laughs> not sure about the angelic bit. not the angelic bit no <laughs> no you can't kid a kidder can you uh, I get lots of you getting involved and the beauty of your white crackle quartz is you can team it with so many different colors uh, leave that with you any color quite literally moving on to box 19 some sterling silver sterling silver opportunities now um, I've got three little pass three little packets here and they are oh you've got your head pins 200 
and 20 pieces. Um, I don't know if you can see them all right there. 220 pieces you're getting in total of solid 925 sterling silver, including your head pins, your silver, tu silver tube crimp beads, which are 3 by 1.5 millimeters, and 100 of those. Uh, then you've got, so you've got 40, 40 head pins and uh, your crimp beads as well, which are 100 pieces of those. Okay, basically you're getting two of each. But am I missing a packet then? Oh no, there's 40 in there. Okay, 20 head pins, I beg your pardon, and 100 of the crimp beads, I beg your pardon, our graphics have doubled it. So you're getting 20 head pins and, and 200 of your crimp beads. Now these are absolute essentials, aren't they? I mean, when you're using really high-end gemstones like the Tanzanite strand, which is coming up in approximately 35 minutes, you would want to use your 925 sterling silver, wouldn't you? Definitely. Um, and it's something I offer my customers as, you know, the choice they make when they choose how their jewellery is commissioned. And it's the thing that they, you know, if it's a special piece of jewellery and it's got special gemstones in, like Tanzanite, or even if it's bridal and it's pearls and things like that, they always go for the sterling silver. Yeah, well, it's, it, 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 it's what you'd want. You want something that is not going to, you know, the, the, you don't want the plating to be wearing off and then it to be recommissioned, I suppose. You want it to be, if, you, if you're going for high-end gemstones, especially, I mean, they're all, gemstones are all high-end. They are. They're all high-end. I, I don't want that to sound like I don't think other gemstones are, are uh, uh, don't compare. But like, like, like Sarah so rightly said, we're talking about tanzanites, we're talking about maybe your morganites, when we're talking about your kunzites, etc. All those really, really rare gemstones. Then I, it, it, it just makes sense because also, you can if you are commissioning pieces for customers or you are gifting it, then you know to actually say nine two five sterling silver, it just screams quality, then doesn't it? It does, and especially if you're you know if you're taking the time to get a piece of jewellery made for somebody, you don't want to you know scrimp on anything. And customers always say to me, I don't want to you know I don't want to take any sort of skip any corners or anything like that. I want it to be the best it can be. Because yeah it's a piece of jewellery that's going to mean something special to definitely somebody. and it's going to add value to it as well yeah. of course because every single day uh, the price of sterling silver and gold it is absolutely absolutely skyrocketing so make sure you do consider that when you factor in you know your gifts or, or as I said if you do commission pieces for everybody um, and I have got the most amazing tanzanite strand coming up so um, absolute staples I mean you wouldn't want to run out of, of any of these opportunities because um, these findings because I know well, you, well you, you're, you're basically at the end of the road then, aren't you? That's it. And it's the thing is, with me, I don't like to run out of any of my findings because if I've got to that point where I've created that piece of jewellery, my creativity is completely flowing at that point and then yes, suddenly I have true. to stop. Yeah. And that piece of jewellery, if you have to stop, and I know the jewellery makers out there will all know that you've got this work in progress box maybe, that you've got lots of yeah. things that aren't finished. Yeah. And you can't get back into it. You can't get back into it. That difficult. makes sense, that, because a bit yeah. like writers have writer's block, mm, I suppose. Definitely. And that's why you see maybe in films they, they write through the night, don't they? Because they're, they're, you know, they're in their element. Um, that makes absolute sense, and I've not thought of that before, Sarah. So, yeah, um, if you run out, then, of course, you don't know. You're not necessarily able to pick up from where you, were, where you once were. Uh, so good luck to you. It's a lot of pieces, solid 925 sterling silver. You've got the big gram weight of sterling silver as well. Um, um, and all beautifully, beautifully finished and articulated, and that's the difference because um, you could, you, you, when you look at sterling silver chains in different in, in retailers, when you look at. Um, sterling silver pieces the finish is absolutely imperative now let's introduce your price point for you because already I've got lots of lots of uh, lots of jewelry makers on the phone lines and on the web 12.95 that is a big gram weight for sterling silver um, a lot of sterling silver in actual fact for, for that amount of money 12.95 that's it and you know it's one of those things that you say it's an essentially can't make jewelry without your findings no. and to have sterling silver ones ready to go for those special pieces uh, for those commissions for those pieces that you know you just want to give that extra little bit of love and attention to so your head pins mm. um, they've got multi you can make earrings out of those yes you make your own shepherd's hook out of those you can make your own clasps out of those you can make um, little connectors little shapes little charms you can do all sorts with them all sorts of things and do you know funny enough that we had charms on um, on our UK sister channel the other day um, or last night in actual fact and I was uh, and you know obviously affordably priced obviously but you can make those yourself can't you that's it you know you can and one charm would be more than what you're seeing on your screen right now that's it I mean if you were to take a head pin and one of those 
those tanzanites and make a little charm out of it and pop it onto a sterling silver bracelet for instance good to go good to go and good to go you know that's a money maker for you, you know, oh those, those are the sort of things that if you have a stall or you're selling a boutique take seconds yep Take absolutely so it's not it's, it's not you're not investing lots of your time. Same with your earrings, isn't it as yeah. well? You know, um, I know when I was on with Mark the other day, he was talking about how it's so easy, quick and easy to actually make a pair of earrings and then sell them for. I mean, if they're Tanzanites, then you would certainly sell them for sort of thirty, forty pounds. Surely they've got to be priced at a price that your customers believe that they are what they are yes and believe in your workmanship as well absolutely um, we can uh, don't devalue the gemstones or devalue your work your skill um, and that's key and that's one of the things I actually say an awful lot you know I, I, I'm very concerned sometimes that we're not um, that, that the, the actual true reflection of the value or worth of the gemstones mm. and your art form because it is an art form you would expect to pay a premium for, for handcrafted jewelry so um, even if it is the, the most simple pair of earrings which has only taken you seconds the customers don't know that do they they don't actually know that um, and the quality of the uh, of the tools and the equipment and, and and the materials that you're using are obviously to a very high level well done to Claire Zena Jane Marion Lorraine Sheila well done keep on dialing through everybody uh, got a couple of those still available now shall I bring you a spotlight deal uh, bring you a spotlight deal um, okay what which one sorry It's very, very, very limited, but I am talking sumptuous. I'm talking rich decadence. Look at my fingers going as well. Whenever I look at this gemstone, I think of coffees, I think of chocolate, I think of caramel, especially with, with, the, with the extra sterling silver. It's very, very limited though. So good luck, this is your spotlight deal. absolutely absolutely adore this now you have got a multitude of beautiful beautiful faceted smoky quartz and then all the 925 sterling silver and do you know what I just want to hold it straight up to the neckline because all you need do literally is attach and we were talking about a sterling silver um, a lobster clasp and you're good to go look at the quality of that it's so beautiful I mean, there are multiple uses. You could maybe make waterfall earrings, couldn't you, out of these? Definitely. I made a bracelet on the late show hmm, probably a couple of weeks ago where I just used it to make little swags underneath um, some pearls, and it just added so much movement to the yes. bracelet. Yes. Um, uh, Dion's just said maybe a slave bracelet. Yeah, mm. I like the sound of that. Really love the sound of that. This is, uh, there's a lot of gemstones included. And you can see on the graphics, um, um, let me just tell you in total, oh, 40 carats, 40 carats of smoky quartz. And of course, all the sterling silver. They are faceted rondelles. It's, it, it's a lengthy, lengthy strand. I'd be multi buying on this because you think you can make a, a necklace, a bracelet, and maybe some, some earrings, a couple of pairs of earrings, probably. So versatile. I mean, you can do all sorts of things. You can make straps for your, for um, you know, for your favourite dress. If you've got one of those dresses that you're forever sort of having to readjust a little bit. <laughs> oh yes. yeah. You can always make a little a little strap for that. Little detailing. Yeah. Or you can, you know, you can actually create. Um, I've done it with some some sort of uh, tops I've got where I've actually just created a little sort of place where I can attach it. I put some little loops on there, and you can attach a little piece of chain yeah. onto a top and thing. You can take it off then. See, wash genuine it. gemstones on your clothes yeah. as well. I mean, oh my, oh my, we are spoiling you now, aren't we? Uh, it's very, very, very limited. However, with smoky quartz, you're looking for that richness of colour, those wonderful sort of espresso tones, and then you'll get those secondary hues of champagne coming through. I mean, the amount of work that has gone into every single one of those little little uh, drops that you're seeing we we're talking about head pins and that's simply what these are aren't they little head pins threaded through the gemstone and then obviously um, incorporated onto your sterling silver chain so that would take you hours to do wouldn't it that's it I mean I think it was um, Mark that timed how long it took to make one of those little links right it was something like 40 seconds just to make one right so um, <laughs> I've got no idea how many are on this strand lots lots <laughs> I'm not going to count it because I'll be here literally half the morning so um, 40 carats that you are seeing here now it is limited it is a clearance deal it is your spotlight deal opportunity so um, first come first serve 
0800 is the free phone telephone number to call. And that's the thing, you know, time is valuable. We are very, very, very busy in this current current climate, aren't we? Right. We're always running around. I don't know about you, my head spins sometimes because I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I, I don't physically function unless I'm looking at my diary every single day that's right. uh, because I don't know where I've got to be. I'm in so many different places. Uh, so something like this is going to is very labor intensive. It's going to take you hours, quite literally, to actually incorporate this same, this same sort of strand that you're seeing here. You can separate it if you wish. Uh, you can use it all at one. It's that sound to you. It's your prerogative. Um, I know I've, I've got people multi buying. I personally would keep it simple and just literally make the bracelet and the, and the matching necklace. Now, um, let's introduce your price point for you, jewelry makers. Twenty-one ninety-five, and it would be well over two hours, wouldn't it, if you were to make this? Okay, I think in two hours you probably maybe only get halfway down. Is yeah. That. Um, so you know the time that you know you can save is something you can pass on to your customers as well. That time saving, and it's also the fact that. I personally would not get, even though I'm an experienced jewellery maker, it would take me even longer to get those links and those loops uniform. Yeah, yes, well that's the thing. And that's what you've got on here, is that uniformity, that quality, that real fine workmanship that's in there, and that, you know, is worth its weight in gold to me, because it just saves me having to do it, I can just then enjoy making the jewellery from it. And it's not cheating? No, gosh no. It's not cheating at all. I mean, you think about tools, that's all there to actually assist you, isn't it? And um, you're still using genuine gemstones, you're still using 925s doing silver. It's, I mean, you, ca you can do it, can't you? Yeah. It's just take an easy option. And by the way, I, I've got no problem with that. For example, I'll never, I, I will never ever make pastry. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never make pastry. Life, life is too short. My mum always said to me, "No, certain things in life, Eleanor. Life, uh, short pastry. Oh yeah, pardon the pun, pardon the pun. Oh dear, yeah, it, it is. Life is too short." Yes. Um, listen, so uh, um, yeah, save yourself the problem. I guess the headache, if you like, yeah. um, with a piece like this, and you can change it, um, mix it up, etc., etc., etc. Now we're running over to Sarah. Did you say for our first kit? I love these colours. Mm -hmm. I absolutely adore pastel colours in gemstones. Um, and this, uh, this is just screaming all of those pastel colours. Now, uh, Sarah, this must have been a joy to work with. First day I could oh, see straight away you've got fluorite. Yes. Love, love, love fluorite. Ooh, I like this cord. <laughs> I love mine. Oh, they're like bubble gum. They are. Bubble gum colours. They are. They're beautiful, soft, okay, sort of girly. Oh, they always give you a little caress. They're so soft. They're just so. Do you want one? Oh. Oh. Um, that's what the Welsh are famous for, by the way, Kutchers. Do you know? It's a really good one. Yeah. If you get one of those. That, 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 one. I'll give you a proper one. Yeah. Later. Proper, proper Kutch. <laughs> now, um, there's a lot included. I love this cord. I know. Beautiful suede cord. Let me get you, take you through everything because you've made amazing pieces here, Sarah. So I'll move this kit this way just a second because you've got these, and I've not seen these before. So these are new to me. Um, you've got, and if you're, if you're commissioning things for little babies, that's it. Baby girl, perfect. baby boy. Look at those colours, they're perfect. <laughs> perfect. I was just talking about little babies as one of our uh, one of our workshoppers, uh, a new as a, a new baby born into the family. Uh, my best friend is expecting her first child, so I'm really excited at the moment. But look at those colours, they're absolute perfect, absolutely they perfect are. for 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 exactly what is you know for little boys, little, little, little girls, little yeah. bracelets or something That's like it. that. I mean, my boys love this these tones as well. They always. Um, you know, go and rifle through my um, jewellery boxes and take all the, all the boy tones out. So it's really nice to have um, those sort of to have um, something that you can be used for children as well. Hang on a minute, are you getting three? Yeah, you're getting three yeah. packs. So I've just spotted this as well. You're actually also getting a second of the blue. Yes. So a second of the blue. That's going to go a long way, isn't it? That's it going an does. awful long way. And then you've got your wire. Now this is 0.25, right? Um, I think it's a point four. Point four, beg your pardon. Yeah. So you've got a point four fuchsia pink wire. Again, very complimentary. Mm -hmm. Those wonderful sort of girly bubble gum colours. Of course, you've got your your standard uh, threading pack, beading thread, monofilament, mm -hmm. and clear elastic. Then you've got your findings. Now I think our findings packs are actually getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Look at all those that you're getting. All those pieces, including some of those bell clasps. Yes, that's this is a Kamihimo 
pack. It is a Kumi here. Hemo pack. I yes. beg your pardon, it's not fine, it's a Kumi Hemo pack. So 25 pieces that you're getting there with your toggle clasp. Mm -hmm. um, the, is that differing sizes of your, of, your, of your bell caps as well? There are. They go from the very smallest all the way up to the large ones. So um, for the piece that I've used uh, there, I've used the, uh, not the largest, but the next one down, and that's got 10 pieces threaded into it of yeah of the uh, suede threaded in there lovely and then of course on your on your smaller pieces uh, you, you've used the smaller yes. smaller kumihimo and of course your wonderful gemstones I mean these are beautiful together yeah. I adore fluorite I it is it is the most colorful uh, regarded as the most colorful mineral on the planet um, you can get wonderful yellows, really rich sort of amethyst purples, beautiful sort of tranquil greens and blues. Mm. Uh, very complementary then with your with your other gemstones. So you're getting three strands. Uh, look at the size of your carved flowers that you're seeing here as well. Amazonite is one of my is my one of my favourite gemstones. Yes, I just love that sort of complete sort of. Uh, tonal position it has it's just lovely it's Caribbean to me yeah it's very 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 Caribbean uh, so three strands fluorite amazonite and of course your beautiful rose quartz and when you're talking about rose quartz um, sometimes lesser grade it'll be a bit white yeah it can be a bit sort of cloudy yeah not quite not no. quite there but this is definitely that is definitely <laughs> exactly what you want isn't it it's, yes. it's, it's, it's classic textbook and the pieces that you have made Sarah are absolutely beautiful let's show you some of the pieces everybody um, I love these earrings. I absolutely adore the. Oh, and cufflinks. I made little girly cufflinks. You've made little girly cufflinks. <laughs> yeah. Now, look at these. So, you've got your pinks, you've got your Amazonite blues. There's the cufflinks that I was talking about. Let me just turn it around like that so you can see. Because uh, you've used a bit of wire there, Sarah, yeah? That's it. So, just the wire that's in the kit, um, and it's strong enough once it's wrapped like that to be able to use it um, as a finding for your cufflinks. Clever. Because ladies need cufflinks as well. I've got shirts which need cufflinks. Well, my husband would wear those quite happily. Yeah, so, absolutely. You know, it, I, I use the sort of the greener tones of the fluorite with the um, sort of the blue green tones that are in there, the other round gemstones, and just because you've only got a little tiny pop of pink and that will be between the shirts anyway. Exactly. So, um, and there's nothing wrong with men wearing pink. My husband has a pink or a purple shirt every Friday. Oh, why on Friday? I don't know. It's Friday's pink or purple shirt day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it just is. I can tell it's Friday because he's got the pink or purple shirt on. <laughs> uh, pink, pink Friday. Most people have fish and chips. Most people have fish and chips, you do pink shirts. Oh, yeah. well, I love that, I love that. <laughs> uh, very gem heavy necklaces that you're seeing here as well. You've got a beautiful waterfall necklace at the yes. very end. I love, love, love that. Um, it, and you've included some of the uh, that heart connector yes. from one of our findings back. I thought I was going to sneeze then. Um, then you've got your, your Kumihimo braid. How easy is it to Kumihimo? Because it looks really complex to me. It's, if you can move cords, so I've got a piece on the go here, and this is a different braid, but if you can literally pick up and move a cord, then um, you can see how easy. This is a different one, but it's just, you put cords on your disc, and it will be a round disc to create that one. But if you can literally pick up and move a cord, you can do Kumihimo. That's as simple as it is. You're just going to move your cords around in a different pattern to create different. Um, and one thing, all of our all of our guest designers say it's great for all ages. You, you oh, gosh, like yes. kids' holiday coming up. Mm -hmm. Is it? It is, isn't it? Easter's coming up soon. Yes, end of this month. End of this month. Um, and you can tell I haven't got children. I'm going to worry about <laughs> things like that. But uh, uh, but, uh, but but that's great to keep them busy. Sort mm -hmm. of during uh, keep them busy. They're creating and mm. they're not sat in front of a television screen. You know, getting square eyes, etc. They're getting creative etc etc so uh, this is a very big gem hub uh, I mean you've got one two three four five six seven eight is that right one two three four five six seven eight nine pieces in total yes. and you could have made more couldn't you I could have made loads more because I had so much of the cording material left over I had loads of the wire left over as well well, let's bring your price, everybody, because I know you're adoring the colours. Very, uh, it was perfect for spring and summer, isn't it? It is. Uh, now, big, big, big amount of savings, Dion is telling me in my ear. So if you love it, get involved. Pastel perfection. Um, I always favour the pastel colours. I don't, in the gemstones, I love it. I just think it's complementary to all skin tones. It's uh, age appropriate as well. So everybody's going to absolutely adore sort of those colours, uh, whether you're dark skin, fair skin, whether you're olive skin, the, the, the pinks and the blues. Mm -hmm. 24. 95 and that is for um, let me just let me just count these the three gemstone strands one two three four five six seven 
eight different component, components plus your three strands, so it's 11 different opportunities. Okay. Break that down. You're only paying, you're only paying two pounds, well, uh, well oh, less than two pounds. Uh, Less than two pounds, twenty four ninety five. So what are you going to actually? We're going to do the the long earrings, the long dingy yeah, dangly just earrings. Just because they're a little bit different in the way that they they're finished off. And to do this, oh, I love this chain as well. Yeah, I mean, I've used different chain because um, I've just used chain out of my findings packs at home. So um, so I've used a slightly different chain on this for this version. Um, but what I've done is I've taken. Um, move that over so it's in the right place there we go um, I've taken one of my head pins and I've taken a decorative head pin so I've got a little flower on the end of this one um, but you can choose whatever ones you happen to have at home yeah um, and it's it is easier to do this design if it's got a little bit of a lip just to sit under so these flower ones are absolutely perfect for that um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little wrapped loop on the top but I'm actually going to add it to my chain before I finish the wrapped loop so taking my pliers right down to my gemstone and I'm actually going to make quite a small loop so I'm right at the tip of my pliers almost just tiny little bit in and I'm going to bend my head pin right over my pliers so that starts my my head pin going in the right direction I'm going to bring my pliers up so I've got the whole of that barrel free on the top of that loop and I can bring that right down almost to the floor so okay and I'm going to twist my pliers around so I, again I've got the barrel at the bottom to be able to work around I'm just going to twist that to 90 degrees so you can see that I've got that there yeah. so I've got the loop with that 90 degrees what I'm going to do then is I'm going to before I close that so that's the point that I want to be at I'm going to add my chain in and you'll find that it's a little bit you have to sort of push pop it in so it's almost that that's a real already closed or almost for uh -huh. you and then I'm going to take that round and I'm just going to wrap it once around. Okay. And then I've got this tail of my head pin and I didn't want to cut it off. I just thought, hmm, what am I going to do with that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it around. I love that. Towards the front of the gemstone. <laughs> so I've actually sort of just... Incorporate it into the design. Yeah, because you've got that, um, that gold there, that gold tone, that metal work. You know, you've got the gold plating there. So incorporate it into your design. And then I'm just going to start to bring it around the bottom of my decorative head pin and so I've got that there and what I'm going to do is just use my flat pliers and gently Squeeze tease that around underneath, yeah. and it's hidden underneath yeah. so that now will not catch on any clothes, your hair or anything like that yeah. and that's, that's that little decorative bit done there Beautiful. and to repeat that at the other side Can I just say that's quite Fabergé? It is a little bit. A very Fabergé, you know, sort of think about the eggs and everything. Yeah. They're very ornate in terms of their design, a sort of scroll around the actual, mm. very Fabergé that. And you can do this, for, you know, this, this could be a component in a neckline piece. You could do lots of these and have them hanging down almost like the, the bib style neckline that I did over there uh, with the fluorite and change it over. And then what you're going to do is do exactly the same on the other end and then just thread it on thread it onto a shepherd's hook so you all you we well end up with a design like that so you and have them at slightly different lengths lengths so that just gives you that design I love these and just changing the chain and the head pins that you use will change the design every time so love 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 and, and like look at those so fall beautifully down the neckline mm -hmm. as well uh, love those thank you so much Sarah for That's showing okay. us that great inspiration um, uh, we're running out of time listen and we've got to see your pieces in the in in the Hall of Fame uh, that's coming up next and don't forget just after the Hall of Fame it's time for the Tanzanite so don't go anywhere <laughs> Best bit. I love the Wall of Fame. I do. I love love seeing what everyone's been creating. It's almost like going into a shop window every day. It is. It <laughs> is. It is. Uh, inspiration from yeah. you guys, and uh, we've got some amazing pieces here. I've got 496. Wow. And this is from Chris, and it says, "Hi all. This is my latest attempt at soutache." A brooch and a pair of earrings made with cord, shell pearls and a cabochon all from JM and seed beads from my stash and I hope you like them and that's all the best from Chris Smith. That's amazing. Sue Touch is, is such an art form and we were yeah. just, when I actually left the, the jewel maker office that we were just starting to sort of step into that amazing forte mm -hmm. so incredible Chris well done to you. Now 493 
uh, comes from uh, Sandra Basford um, and Sandra says uh, please find attached my entry for this week's Wall of Fame uh, it's a goddess inspired uh, style bracelet using silver coated pyrite rounds and silver plated jump rings from JM of course and silver leather cord from my stash good luck to everyone this week but especially me as I really could do with a win to let me buy more fabulous gemstones and that's Sandra in Maidenhead uh, Sandra we know exactly how you feel <laughs> believe me believe me we do um, and that's amazing very oh, I love the goddess bracelets beautiful isn't Ooh. it I know I've got 494 here and uh, this is from Annette uh, she says I was inspired to make this bangle by Laura's DI show um, a week or so ago I used 1.5 and 0.4 copper wire um, and began the way she demonstrated but after the wire took control and this is what I ended up with Mm. The stone's a tiger's eye, um, and everything is from Jewelry Maker, and I hope you like it. Best wishes from Annette. Sometimes it's best just to let the wire. I was going to say exactly the same thing. I mean, it's it's, 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 it's a, allow it to almost sort of Ooh. guide you. And uh, amazing, love that works. It's very very. What's well, different? It's not nothing we've seen previously before. Now, um, wowzers. There's 492. Look at this, uh, and it's called Perlicious. I love that. And I love that you've had, you've started your, your your email with that. Hi, uh, and this comes from uh, Hazel, I believe. Uh, like Jan Dyer, uh, I seem to have developed an obsession with pearls. Have I, uh, pearls. Have I pronounced that right? Dwyer, beg your pardon, uh, an obsession with pearls, uh, all from Jewelry Maker, um, as are, are the findings. Now I have my knotting tool, so I am going to redo some of the knots between the pearls. Best wishes to all, and good luck uh, to all the, the woofers. Uh, the woofers. <laughs> I love that. That's brilliant. Um, that's amazing. And I have an obsession with pills as well. So keep your entries coming into the Wall of Fame. We do really, really enjoy looking at them. And of course, you get entered into our draw. Um, you can email them to us. Uh, 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 email studio at jewelrymaker.com. Um, and it could be you. It could be you that could win these amazing pieces. I know. Um, I've got 495 here. Um, and this is from Patricia. And she says, hello everybody these are my entries for this week the collars arrived yesterday and I couldn't wait to have a go uh, from two simple pendants uh, from my stash to amethyst and pearls each looked completely different uh, one sold straight away um, one on the bottom row far left uh, with my neighbor claiming it as a present for her granddaughter <laughs> um, with the exception for the pendants from my stash, everything else is from Jewelry Maker. Um, are you getting any more of these collars in? Please. Oh, we'll have to have a little look out. I think I think they probably will because they'd be very very popular. But well, I'll, I'll go and have a little word upstairs. When yes. I I'll see. Put a word in for you. Uh, good luck to everyone next week. Uh, this week, and that's from Lynn Edwards. In Cinderford, I know Cinderford very well, Lynn. So uh, good luck to every single one of you. Absolutely amazing. Now, uh, this hour's flown by. Absolutely flown an by. Hour and it is an hour already, but 80 opportunities in the world. That's how many we've got. It's one of the biggest strands of tanzanite that I've seen in ages. The colour is breathtaking. You've got that deep, rich saturation, everything that you're aspiring to own in your tanzanite. It is coming up immediately, um, immediately, folks. So if you were thinking about going to make yourself a nice cup of tea or a cup of coffee, don't, because this is literally, literally moments away. You want to see how many 80, 80 uh, strands sell out, and you'll probably see it within, I guess, probably a couple of minutes, in actual fact. The quality is exactly what we aspire to owning. Um, I have got news to actually share with you about Tanzanite direct from Hong Kong, um, so, which, which Steve has been sort of emailing us directly on our sister channel. So make sure you do stay tuned. Um, it is coming your way right now. Well, today on the Kamahima course with Sarah Elvin, I've been learning how to do different types of braiding. I've been learning how to do the bracelets, I've been doing square braids, round braids, how to put beads onto them and how to put findings on, as I didn't know how to do any of this before the course. I actually found the course through going onto the Jewelry Maker Studio site and finding the tutorials and the workshops on the course 
getting in touch with the studio and inquiring about the course. Before then, I didn't even know that the jewellery maker even existed. It has been a wonderful experience as I have learned so much that I never even knew existed before today. It has been a wonderful experience. I would recommend anybody at all to come on this course as it has opened my eyes to a whole new world. Learn great techniques with this fantastic DVD, Extruder Edition 1. Join guest designer Debbie Bulford and presenter Ed McKay and start creating new, exciting and colourful pieces of polymer clay using the multifunctional extruder tool. To get your hands on a copy of this fantastic DVD, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. new to jewellery making and want to learn all the essential techniques then this is the perfect workshop for you. Join experienced resident designer Linda and learn how to get to grips with this addictive hobby. Learn how to create necklaces, earrings and bracelets with genuine gemstones. You will also have the opportunity to try a range of jewellery making mediums for beginners including wirework, macrame and kumihimo. The full course includes a wide selection of gemstones and findings, threading materials, 0.4 and 0.8 silver plated wire, use of all relevant tools, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studio and our museum and a visit to our shop. All of this for just £59.95. For more information contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Start your new hobby today with Jewellery Maker. Tanzanite is truly spectacular. This precious gemstone is only found in one location in the world, Tanzania, Africa. Claimed to be a thousand times rarer than diamonds, Tanzanite is the blue variety of zoisite. Tanzanite is extremely popular due to its trichroic nature, which means that three different colours can be seen when looking at the gem from different angles. In Tanzanite's case, these colours are blue, pinkish violet and yellow. Now, a big, big, big opportunity, jewellery makers, and I know it doesn't take me to actually emphasise that. We all know, and I'm not going to tell you the obvious things, I'm not going to talk you, to you about one generational, one locational, we know of its imminent depletion, we know that, we know about the prices skyrocketing, but I, 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 it's, it's, it's our job as your, as, your, as your presenters and your host to actually bring you information about the current situation in the current market. Now. Um, here at the, uh, the Genuine Gemstone Company, we, we, we um, always strive to bring you that information direct from, if you like, the forefront. And currently, um, we have got my boss and, um, and some of our bosses are, are over in Hong Kong currently at one of the largest gemstone trade fair, trying to seek out certain gemstones. What gemstones are on their radar? Well, let me tell you, it's Pareva Tourmaline, it's your, it's, it's, it's your Tanzanites, it's, it's, it's the very, very rare gemstones that we can't get hold of. And unfortunately, we were once, well, not unfortunately, once upon a time we could say that we are, we, we were one of the leading buyers globally of Tanzanite, but unfortunately nobody has got that sort of accolade anymore because so little is being unearthed. Again, I'm not going to talk to you about that. This is one email that Steve actually sent to us direct from Jaipur, the fact that, that the prices are, have gone through the roof, um, um, the Tanzanite he's seeing has, is, 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 is very, very poorly graded. It's not what we would actually sort of like to bring bring you so uh, you can see the price increases etc but now I'm going to introduce the graphics on this auction straight away whilst I give you this news direct from Hong Kong I've got 80 of these available in the world that's it it's a big carat weight 
60 carats in total you've got that pure sumptuous sumptuous color um, I know that I will have jewelry makers uh, who, who rightly so will decide to multi buy on this opportunity rightly 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 so I would be buying multi buying on this opportunity we're not restricting it in any way shape or form now as I was saying um, okay so we're over in in Hong Kong right now Steve Bennett uh, my boss his wife etc and for the first time ever we've decided that we're going to start selling gemstones ourselves now now, as you know, um, our sister channels, we actually own some mines and we're partners in some mines around the world. One of those mines is, is for Fire Opal, which is mined in Oregon, uh, in the state of Oregon. Um, it's, it, it, it is exclusive to us here on our sister channels, but it's the best Fire Opal that we've ever, ever seen. Why am I talking about Fire Opal during the Tanzanite auction? There is a very good reason, so do bear with me. Now, you might be thinking, Eleanor, what on earth? No, 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 there is a very good reason. So for the first time ever, we've decided that we're going we're to sell our Fire Opal. The only reason that we are actually selling it externally to the trade, and I'm talking the biggest jewellery houses in the world, I can't say the names, but you know the obvious ones, the really big jewellery houses who have gone absolutely crazy, crazy for it, um, is we are negotiating for the likes of gemstones that we can't get hold of, aka tanzanite. So we are trying to buy tanzanite with the best fire opal that we have ever seen in the world. That is the only reason, uh, the only way at the moment that we, can, we think that we we can be able to source it it's very very difficult to get hold of Steve again my boss um, and we've got gem hunters who work 24 hours a day all around the world um, Steve uh, unfortunately he's bought one parcel one parcel only um, and that was just 2,000 carats 2,000 carats of tanzanite and that is since 2013 once upon a time we used to bring you uh, 20,000 carats per parcel it, it, it is not happening anymore um, okay I've got people buying fours I've got people buying twos I don't blame you Graphics on your screen, there's 80 available, pure saturation, less than how many? 30 chances remaining. Let's bring in your price point for you folks. The quality of this Tanzanite, 44.95, uh, absolutely unbelievable. Now, uh, uh, this is something that I say regularly and it is, it is, it is, it is totally the case. It's, it's actually, un jewelry pieces are actually uncommissionable at the price that we're bringing it to you on your screen. What I mean by that is we couldn't even source the Tanzanite for the price that you are looking at on your screen. That's the reality of things, the situation right now. I mean, Sarah, you, you, two pairs of earrings and you've got your money back, haven't you? Oh, one pair of earrings, probably. Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, the fact is that I'm, I'm shocked that that is the price. I was actually expecting it to be twice as much um, because of the rarity at the moment. And as you say, you just can't get hold of this. You, you, if you were to walk into a jeweler's on the high street and say, could I have a pair of Tanzanite stud earrings? A little one yep. piece on each one, yep. stud earrings. And I bet the jeweler could not go and get two pieces of tanzanite for you to no, make those you earrings can't. for you. Unfortunately, most retailers, and, and, and I've got contacts all over the world now. I've got people, I've got collectors in the USA. Um, I think it's pretty much sold out. So uh, good luck. Do stay on those phone lines and do try and check out. Um, um, I think it's pretty much sold. But one of my, uh, a few of my co uh, uh, contacts in the USA were saying to me, Eleanor, most retailers haven't even got tanzanite anymore. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's true. Most retailers actually haven't got tanzanite anymore. And if you have have, then you're hugely, hugely considered premiums. 44.95 is amazing. I'm not surprised you multi bought. I would have done exactly the same. I got to move on because I think that's sold out. Uh, got to move on. Now I have got. Where's that? Where's? Oh yes. Now I spoke about one of the most. Whoop, colourful gemstones on the planet. Uh, that it certainly has to be your tourmaline. Tourmaline is believed to have fallen through, through, from the sky through a rainbow and that's how it adopts all these beautiful, beautiful colours. Also, by the way, sharing the news straight from the forefront, uh, tourmaline is actually fetching in excess, in excess of, of, of sort of uh, 400 pounds per carat for extra fine grade, um, per carat for extra fine grade in the industry. This is coming up a little bit later. Uh, 1230, beautiful pink tourmaline, uh, one of the most pleochroic gemstones on the planet. That's coming your way. Uh, but first, shall I bring you some sterling silver findings to go with your 925, uh, sorry, to go with your Tanzanite? Uh, box number four up. Pedwar. Pedwar. You can tell I'm in, I'm in Welsh mode. Pedwar. In die tree, Pedwar. Yes. Do you like you like the word microwave in Welsh? Ollie's asking, what's what's microwave in Welsh? In Welsh, do you want me to tell you? 
Pop a ping. I knew it was something ping, but I couldn't remember the other. Right? Poppity ping, <laughs> poppity ping, poppity ping. It is a brilliant word, isn't it? Yeah, poppity ping. Just chuck it in the poppity ping. <laughs> <laughs> poppity ping. It's brilliant, isn't it? Oh, I love the Welsh language. To be fair, it's very difficult the Welsh language because there's. Uh, I can speak a little bit. I, I, I understand more than I can speak. Um, okay, these are beautiful. I'll tell you what, so much romance. I was te teasing my producer last night because he's got a new girlfriend at the moment. And do you know what? He walked into the building and I was like, Tom, you've got a bit of a spring in your step. Uh, I was teasing him. He went bright red, the poor little love. And I carried on for four hours teasing him, the poor little love. Every, kind of, every time I saw a heart-shaped, uh, I know, piece of jewellery, it was, ah, oh, Tom, I know why you scheduled this. Uh, love, love, love these. Uh, these are your, your silver heart earrings. Oh, bless him. He's like, Ellen, I'm not even on jewellery maker you're still going on about it. Uh, look at that. I mean, real finesse. These are uh, your hook earrings. Now, um, perhaps uh, perhaps it's, it's maybe me, Sarah. I, I mean, obviously, that's going to go in the ear. That, yes. that, that's going to be sort of at the ear lobe. Yes. And fall down the back. Yep. Could you incorporate gemstones into these as well? Yes, you can. If you, if you just twist it round, I think there's a little loop just behind the Oh, there. yes. So that's perfect for attaching your drops of your gemstones. I see. I didn't chains. even notice that. Um, and you can add all your little extra bits into there. So you might just even want to just put chain behind there. If you've got some of the silver um, heart-shaped chain like I used on the other pair of earrings, I had the gold version there, um, you could put that just behind and just have a cascade of chain. I think they would just be the sort of pair of earrings you just put on every single day. I'm holding them up to the ear there. Excuse my talk back. Um, excuse my talk back. That's not very, that's a bit unsightly. But look at that. Look at that there. So you'd actually have maybe a waterfall, maybe just a simple drop. I love that, Sarah. They Absolutely are. love those. Never seen them before. So you think about a stud, pair of stud earrings, they're sort of heart stud yeah. earrings. Well, we know we can guess what kind of price, but these are solid 925 sterling silver, and there's a lot of, uh, of sterling silver. If I hold you, showed you, show you rather. Uh, you can see the gram weight, you can see the significance included in this. Uh, with that very Italian inspired brush detailing. That's it, it's just that lovely mix of texture. So you've got the, the brush texture on the heart, but then you've got that, that sort of, you know, very beautiful isn't it? silver at the back there, which is beautiful. And it just adds that extra finish. It's someone's thought very carefully when they've put these together, how they want that extra finish, that extra professional finish to be on there, that extra luxury. I mean, you, yeah, um, and, and you could do that. If, if, if you've got these, um, it's, it's quite easy to sort of brush you can, yeah. Sterling silver. Um, uh, it's, it is quite easy to do that. But then are you going to get it, which, which is the quality that you're seeing on, your, uh, on these right now? Because um, it, 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 it is almost textured, isn't it? It's getting that evenness. Yeah. And that, Not looking scratched. That's it. And having that, that finish. You see, so you, if you have got the Dremel at home, you could, could possibly get this finish. Uh, but have it all done for you. Perfect. Perfect. Now you are getting five pairs, like I said, a big gram weight of your 925 sterling silver already, lots of you with me. Uh, 11.95. It's not even £2 per pair. Not even £2 per pair. Let me just put a pair next to each other side by side. Now you tell me, for all that sterling silver that you're seeing in that pair, um, uh, it's surely £2. For, for, for a rare, precious commodity that sterling silver is, and we're being constantly reminded by our bosses the, 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 the price increases of gold and sterling silver and how the fact we need to be considering it's not just about the gemstone, how rare silver is, how rare gold is, and how expensive they both are. And there is a reason why most retailers bring it to you at an elevated price tag. Um, there is a reason. It's it's, uh, I mean, obviously profits. That 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 comes into that comes in more often than not. Most retail jewelry retailers work on a basis of 300 percent. Uh, yeah, 300 percent. If you got, if you look in a jewelry shop window, having worked in those different establishments, look in a jewelry shop window, divide it by three. Uh, that's based pretty much around their sort of cost. Generally, that's certainly the jewelry houses that I worked at previously. It is a luxurious item, and then plus VAT, by the way. Then of course plus VAT here in the UK. Um, but certainly not what you're seeing on your screens right now, because you are, you are the luxury brand. You are, you are the, 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 the I guess the, um, your Cartiers, your Tiffany's and Co. Your Van Cleef and Arpels, your Bulgaris, that's you. You are that brand. So um, then, of course, it's down to you to what premiums and what margins you work off. Uh, lots of you getting involved. I've not seen these before. Have you, Sarah? I've seen them. 
seen them once. And once. They, and I think they, they flew out. Because yeah. There, there's just something that sets you apart from everybody else. If you sell your jewellery where there might be other people selling their handmade jewellery, um, these are going to set you apart because they're so different. They're so... Um, well, I think they've, they've really just got that unique selling point to them that they're just, uh, and they have that connotation as well. A heart is such a nice, easy uh, thing to give somebody. It's just so beautiful. It is, and 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 listen, just to put draw your attention as well. You've got, of course, your nine two five sterling silver hallmark. I don't know if you can see that. It's just at the very bottom, very bottom of the actual uh, shepherd's hooks. So, of course, stamped uh, hallmark there, which you, uh, you should point out if you are Ooh. going to craft fairs, etc., etc. Eleven ninety five only, less than two pound per pair. Lots of you getting involved. I've got a message coming in here from Sally in Hertfordshire. A handsome young fella named Ollie thought he was off his trolley. His birthday he had thought he looked like his dad, so he covered his face with a brolly. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> have you are, have you covered your face, Ollie? Why are you covering your face? Do you look like Do you look like your dad? You look like your mum. Um, uh, are you a mummy's Are you a mummy's boy? You are a mummy's boy. Uh, do you look like your mum or your dad? I look like both of them actually. Um, I look a lot like my mum. Well, my mum did. So, um, but I've still got a lot of features in my dad because my dad's very dark like I am. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ollie, happy birthday. <laughs> uh, uh, Michaela in Cornwall, ha had yesterday's uh, JM on first thing. My lad asked, uh, is it, where is it? Sorry, my eyesight. Where is Eleanor? Oh, <laughs> uh, I definitely think you have made impression. Of. Hello, Michaela's little boy. How, I don't know if he's little. He might not be little. <laughs> he might not be. <laughs> <laughs> he, might, he might be, he might be a teenager, or, or I, I don't know. He could, he could, he could be a forty-something year old lad. I don't know. Uh, anyway, hello, nice to be back with you. Uh, now leave that with you. I got to move on. What number was this? Number four. Pedwar. That's it. Pedwar. Pedwar. Poppy ping. <laughs> Box eight. Oh, sorry. Pedwar is four. Yes. Um, in die tree, Pedro, pimp, queer, scythe, oith, 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 oith. Pimp is five. Honestly, honestly, pimp is five. Okay, honestly. Poppity ping, not <laughs> no, not pippity pong. <laughs> pippity pong. Pippity pong. <laughs> it's Heidi High. What did Heidi High she used to say? Morning campers. Morning campers. <laughs> <laughs> Pippity pong. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, that's priceless. <laughs> Pippity pong. <laughs> anyway, these are your jail, uh, ba jail, your bail making clients. <laughs> Good lord, it's all gone a little bit wrong. Uh, and it goes from six mil millimeters up to your eight point five. Now, the qu I can feel the quality in these. Our tools are just brilliant, aren't they? They are, and the quality is brilliant, but the price is what oh, yeah. does it every time for me because I've, as a jewellery maker, bought tools from lots of different places because I bought them before jewellery making you was never. here. I, I did. You never did, Sarah. I know, I know. I, I just hang my head in shame that I you ever did So you that. should. You know, turn and face the wall. <laughs> Go in the corner. <laughs> 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 we, I'm only joking, you know that. You know, you know, we know we love you. Uh, so you bought tools from somewhere else. I know. Was that, that was before Jewelry Maker, obviously. It was before Jewelry yes. Maker. Well, you're um, forgiven. And because, you know, you, you need the tools to do the jobs. And that's as simple as it gets. But if you can get the price and the quality that Jewelry Maker have, which we've 
and to get the variety of tools. It's not about making do now. No, with, uh, no, we look, don't, to, you to, don't have to. to. Have the, you have the right tools to be able to do the job. Before you might have thought, oh, I'm going to try and make a bale, or yeah. wrap it around, whatever you happen to have, and it becomes, it becomes an oval instead of a round. Yeah. That's not what you wanted. So grab these tools at the brilliant price. Well, I know where these are going to. Dion has just told me in my ear just how affordable these are going to be. And you're quite right. It's not about making do. You don't need yeah. to make do anymore because they are super affordable. And it's, it, it's like if you go into a man's tool shed, isn't it? I mean, it's, uh, eventually, especially when you get to, say, say my dad's uh, age, you've got every tool for the job pretty much, haven't yeah. you? And you've got it readily at hand. And these have got that longevity to it. They will last. If you keep them safe, you look yeah. after them, then obviously you will have, got, have that longevity. Now, you can see the difference different sizes, uh, more, 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 I suppose, easily shown on the actual picture that we showed you earlier on. But you can go from the 6mm up to the 8.5mm. You can see the quality and the, and the weight, actually, that is there. And again, I'm not making comparisons because there is no comparison to our competitors out there. Um, I, I've seen the tools and I've seen the prices. Now, um, OK, let's introduce your price tag because it is super, super affordable. Uh, quite rightly said, Sarah, you don't need to make do at 6.95. Don't. And that's it. You've got those now for your jewelry making career. You look after yeah. them; they'll be there for you. Um, and they—they they are the thing that you'll just pick up time and time again. You might not even be making a bail with them. You might wait to want to make a, just a few jump rings. Mm -hmm. You can wrap your wire around those and then cut them, and you've got your jump rings ready to go. Um, so you know you can, you'll use them to make all sorts of different um, motifs in your wire and all sorts of different things. So they're there forever. That's brilliant. And you've got the comfort grip setting as well. Which is important because, of course, we work with our hands blisters. all the time. Yeah, you can get calluses, you can get blisters. Yeah. So to have that comfort. And also, you know, you may not have that, that sort of extra strength in your hands. And these have got the spring back in them as well, which allows you just to have that. It means when you work with them, you don't get your hands don't get overly tired as well. Ah, oh, here we go. Um, uh, Michaela's just written, the ball making pliers are so bail. <laughs> I'm sorry. The bail making pliers are so brilliant, uh, makes life so much easier. And, and if you have hand problems, uh, they're fab. And Cameron, my nephew's called Cameron, uh, and he's eight. Ah, oh, good morning, Cameron. Mwah. My nephew's called Cameron, so we've got two of you. Uh, amazing. Bail making pliers are brilliant. Absolutely. At six ninety five as well. That's an incredible, incredible price point for you. So well done. And if you, uh, this is something that maybe you add as uh, as and when you're going, I guess. That's it. You'll find that as you progress in your jewelry making, that this is be something you want to add um, to have that additional. Um, surface to mould your bales around to, to make your own jump rings and various different things that you'll use these for and you might just pick them up and just use them for those I've, I've always got lots of different pliers with me yeah and one of them is oh I know I see how much how much you carry into the studios <laughs> no we are we are all bag ladies when we come here we've all got different yeah yeah kabooda. absolutely but then it's, it's because you've got pieces like this and, and you wouldn't want to not have it when you need it that's it you have to have the tools to make the job easy and you know why struggle at that price to have the correct tool for the correct job do you know what? I mean, I always put things into perspective and, and think, well, well, this is like, like I say, this is your jewellery, uh, this is your jewellery making career mm -hmm. or, or, or lifelong hobby. Or um, so you, you're going to have it forever. If you look after it, you're going to have it forever. You can't buy roast chicken these days for six pound ninety five. No. Can you? You've got a tool that will last you a lifetime, quite literally here, and make thousands upon thousands of bales for you. Six ninety five only. Uh, got to move on in the SSI, but well done. Should I bring some clearance? Uh, double trouble clearances. I like that. Right, number 11, 12. That's Indeg Dye. Indeg Dye. <laughs> <laughs> Dye. Oh, now you've got two strands here. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm just laughing at the guys in the gallery. They are funny. It's funny listening to them trying to speak Welsh. I'm very, I, I, I'm excited because I'm going back to Wales this weekend, so I keep talking. Oh, look at these. Uh, okay, double strand, Marquis cabochons. Uh, two lengthy strands that you are seeing of your beautiful labradite. Can you see that golden colour through? You've got golden labradite there on the top. Can you see? 
beautiful golden labradorite then of course that what I call the fish effect that wonderful shiller those flashes of blues and greens as the light literally uh, cascades across the surface of the gemstone it is the tiny tiny it's wrap it round themselves as well the tiny microscopic inclusions within this gemstone that gives you uh, that beautiful visual effect um, so you, it, 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 it is an absolute it's what we call a phenomena gemstone um, and those tiny inclusions, uh, look at that, there we go, you can really, really see it there, uh, really bouncing out and it gives the gemstone wonderful, wonderful movement because the beauty of gemstones, it's not just a colour. It's not just a back, uh, flat colour like you would see on the panatone chart, for example. You get then your luster across the surface of the gemstone. You get maybe brilliance internally with the gemstone. You also get, um, in this case, a, a phenomena ability with that wonderful optical effect. You might get a colour change phenomena as well. So gemstones are absolute, absolute miracles of nature. And it's not just something pretty. It's, it's something to appreciate and look beyond that and really see the beauty in their makeup. Double strand clearance opportunity for you marquee drill they're top drilled as well so you're gonna get a wonderful drop effect 15 pounds 95 I know it's your favorite gemstone we're not even stopping there we are going lower uh, we did say clearance it's a tenner Sarah they're top drilled as well so that makes um, I know you all go you love your top drills don't you I do um, just because they make such easy 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 florals yes um, so if you imagine um, something like I've used the clear quartz here yeah but that's just five just onto a piece of wire just wrapped around so those if you imagine those are the teardrop shaped top drilled in the labradorite yes how beautiful they would be um, so you've got those there with the beautiful you know to be able to do that and it's just so simple it's just a piece of wire gather them round wrap it up and just wrap and it in and out and you've got literally a, floor, a and, flower and you've got a flower and that's as simple as really really easy you can have those cascading off a neckline piece yes. simple earrings um, they're brilliant if you just want to wire wrap the top and just have them hanging down as a little teardrop but I like clustering them together in the yeah. centre of a bracelet so they're all sort of almost standing um, I know what you mean sort of 3D yeah so they're all sort of just yeah. standing up and the light catches and dances across them beautifully then sorry uh, yeah yeah totally I, t I understand what you mean and, and we're seeing that a lot in jewellery designs it's not just about um, having something which is sort of flat it's creating movement uh, it's creating movement in the luster uh, in this case in your lab address and so you can see those wonderful golds coming through rich and abundant you don't normally get golds ordinarily you'll see maybe the blues and the greens mm. but you can definitely see uh, these are almost golden labradites yeah that it, it's just such a nice tone to get through them as well and it's just it's, I love I love Labradorite. It's such a uh, surprise as to what you're going to get. It's it is. Whoop. I call it I call it the Wuthering Heights gemstone. Mm, it's beautiful. I think it just reminds me of sort of the moors and uh, and sort of uh, Heathcliff. I just think it's got a wonderful romantic, but also a darkness to it as well. I know exactly what you mean. I grew up very close to to where those books were written. So. Uh, Do I, you? Yeah, yeah. I grew up um, up on near Ilkley Moor. So. You know, that's where um, Bronte County is just yes. a little bit further up. So, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. And some of the rock formations yeah. have these beautiful characters, sort of these tones running through them. Um, and then you get all the beautiful heather as well. Yeah, gorgeous, so. they're really, really striking. I mm. adore that, 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 that novel. It's one of my favourite, favourite ever books. At £9.95 and pence only. It's double strand that you're getting here. Um, well done to you. have got people multi buying. Uh, multi bank now um, can I just show you these incredible incredible garnets which are showing up uh, coming up in the next 10 minutes lots of you are texting in about them and I don't blame you I've got some tweezers now now you've got in total uh, 10 connectors uh, 10 connectors but they're ready-made pairs of earrings um, ready-made pairs of earrings maybe uh, ready-made pendants ready-made necklaces you could simply apply a sim simple chain to these and, and you're good to go uh, beautifully faceted round brilliant cut let me just turn that again uh, round brilliant cut and then you've got your pair cuts as well you've got the pavilion and the coolie at the back which brings you that wonderful brilliance um, this is coming up beautiful garnet one of the most refractive of gemstones on the planet you've got 10 of these in total so it's a big carrot weight and when we're doing this, 10 minutes time. 10 minutes time, so not long to wait. Imagine them all connected together. Oh, beautiful. That would be amazing. Mm. Now, let's bring you... Oh, MG. 
these have always been 1995 uh, up until today. These are huge. I would just keep it simple. I would literally just restrand them, maybe not in between, and you have got that wonderful, timeless, classic pearl necklace. So 1995. Well, if you think, think, think that's good, just do wait and see. Uh, culture pearls fetching hugely considered premiums outside of these four walls. Uh, and I do genuinely mean hugely considered premiums. Every bone in my body tells me a culture pearl necklace, certainly in the establishments that I worked at, was always in four figures. I mean, granted, with 18 karat gold, granted. And they might be a little bit more uniform than what you're seeing on your screen, but you've got definite, definite quality in this, that wonderful champagne colour. I mean, it's just, it, it oozes quality, doesn't it, in class. Mm. Um, and a pearl necklace. That's the, the wonderful thing about a pearl necklace is it is age appropriate. They, you are seeing sort of youngsters wanting to own pearls, 20-something, um, 30-somethings, 40-somethings, so on, so on, so on, so on, so on. Um, uh, they always, always are. Uh, there's, there's a reason why it's, it's throughout the year. There's a reason why Hollywood icons, uh, present and past, have all chosen to wear, uh, wear pearls because they are absolutely timeless. I adore this champagne colour. This is very unique. I've not seen it before. It's got a wonderful sort of um, almost morganite blush to it. Beautiful morganite blush. They're huge, 10 by 9 millimetres. Now, Sarah, would you keep it simple like this or would you, would you maybe break it up? Do you know, I do like my pearls quite simple, my designs with my pearls, but sometimes, do you know, I, that, ta um, the tourmaline you've got coming up. Yes. I think those two together would work very nice. They would together. look amazing so together. So maybe just a couple of the tourmaline in between the pearls and just to add that real, so you've got organic and organic, so you've got the organic nature of the tourmaline cut, but you've also got the pearl there as well, and I just think those two together would just look amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Now, I need to see you on the phone lines to justify this clearance price. Um, it should be at 19.95. I need to see you there, otherwise we, 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 can't, we can't drop it. Um, so good luck to every, every single one of you. That's what I was talking about moments ago, where you've got um, current Hollywood icons, where you've got previous Hollywood icons, You've seen, you know, going dating back to sort of um, real olden times there, where uh, sort of in the 1500s, if you like, with Queen Elizabeth um, wearing of the pearls. They are classic, they are timeless, and they, of course, always aspired, always can uh, command highly considered price points. 19.95 is usual price, and um, really, that blows my mind. Absolutely, absolutely, but 14.95. I mean, that's a lot of pearls. Let me count how many are on this one strand. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42 individual pearls. So that's that's 21 pairs of earrings straight away. I mean, would you would you pri price um, with the 925 sterling silver more than 15 pounds? They would be sort of 12, 50 to 15 pounds for a pearl pair of earrings, definitely. Absolutely, um, especially on, the size. Depending on where I'm selling them. If I was um, going to some of the boutiques um, around where I live, they would be 20 pounds in yes. there. If I was selling them more as a sort of craft fair or somewhere I was tabletop fair, that um, they would be more sort of 12, 15 to 15 pounds. Yes, that's fair yeah. enough. I can see that. You have yeah. to be sort of market appropriate, don't yes. you? But then just make sure you, you do maybe a bit of research and actually show what size, uh, what size uh, externally, what 10 millimeter by 9 millimeter pearls will command the, uh, in most retailers. Because firstly, a pearl will grow and it is, water, it is temperature dependent basically, as we know it's an organic gemstone. Um, approximately one millimeter per year and it, that is solely dependent on the temperature of the water but um, so this you think about that put that into perspective these are nine to ten years old on that basis on that basis um, and, and like I say it does really depend on where these gem, uh, where your pearls are actually formed so I mean and you've got 42 of them here created by mother nature uh, just incredible miracles you can see now these are we've called them potato which I really object to that name I hate potato I hate potato the, the name potato because I just think these are pearls these are pearls. Pearls are beautiful. Potatoes are not beautiful. Um, and you have got, uh, they have got, I mean, they're not, well, they're not perfectly spherical, but I actually prefer that when we're talking about pearls when they have, they do show their, 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 their more organic formation. It's, it's easier to, to say to a customer, you know, these are natural freshwater pearls, when they can actually see that organic nature. When they are beautifully spherically round and, you know, have to be able to prove that, you know, but 
with an authenticity card because they may, might not take your word for it. But yes. these, because they've got that little bit of an organic nature to them. Exactly, I love you that. can tell. It's easy, so easy um, to tell. You know, funny enough, Ollie was just literally saying the same thing to me. I mean, look at this, right? People would think, okay, oh, lovely pearl necklace, but necklace, but is it definitely real? Um, is it definitely real? Because from there, I mean, it's noticeable. Most definitely, look how perfect they look. Wonderful. I mean, it looks beautiful, beautiful. But then when you really get up close, that's when you start seeing Mother Nature's work. I mean, you know, none of us are perfect, are we? We've all got, we've all got imperfections and I like the fact that these uh, these gemstones show the odd slight imperfection if you like the character to me it's exactly <laughs> it's, it's like it's like our wrinkles shall we say uh, they are the laughter they are the laughter lines of, uh, uh, of our years um, absolutely and that's what you're seeing with your pearls I like the fact they have got every uh, ever so slightly just the odd imperfection a small imperfection but that is where people will realize and recognize that they are actually culture pills these are not mm. these are not laboratory created they're not plastic they're not they're not um, they're not coated and you know that you have got the real deal here and I would again 925 sterling silver all the way all the way maybe incorporate with your rose gold 925 sterling silver mm -hmm. because it has got that wonderful sort of uh, blush to it I've got people multi buying I haven't got huge quantities of these available though it is a clearance. Um, it was prior to today, 1995. We've given you five pounds off. Uh, Christine and Bridget, hello to you. Jacqueline, Betty, uh, Manchester, Alberta, hello to you. Angela, Jane, and Teresa, Irina, Zena, well done. Keep on dialing through, folks. Uh, check out as soon as you can. I'll leave that with you. Well done, well done, well done. Now, I've got a double spotlight deal coming your way. A double spotlight deal. Uh, sorry, my, I've got problems with my talk back. Have you seen me fiddling in my ears? So if I don't, I'm not ignoring you, Dion. It's, uh, it's just because my talk back's playing up. Now, double spotlight deal opportunity coming your way. Um, and it includes those wonderful connectors that so many of you are messaging in about now. And a little bit of a cheeky surprise, so make sure you do stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, uh, loads of you have been messaging in about these to the studio. I know um, I've certainly never seen anything like it before, and they are wonderfully regal, beautifully finished, solid 925 sterling silver, and you've got 10 connectors in total with this opportunity. I was just suggesting maybe if you wanted to get a really, make a really, really high end piece, actually putting the, the actual 10 different connectors. And I'll try my very best to actually sort of demonstrate this. Just attach maybe with, with a bit of chain in between. And then you have got a wonderful sort of, imagine that as a collar actually sort of cascading and falling sort of down the actual decolletage. Uh, very high end. And then surely you could man, command three figures for, uh, for, 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 for this quality and all that sterling silver that will be incorporated. There's ten of these. But it needn't be the case. It needn't be that gem heavy. They could be very easily commissioned into earrings. And I'll, ask, I'll, I'll speak to Sarah about that in a second. But let me just show you this. Uh, try and show you as best I possibly can. You have got uh, pear cuts and also your, your round brilliant cuts. Wonderfully bezel set in your 925 sterling silver. Um, when did these arrive in, this, uh, in the vault? They're, they're brand new. Uh, brand new. So I've never seen them previously. I absolutely love them. I mean, how how class and by the way you love them as well you absolutely adore these as well i mean what would you be thinking sarah i mean something like that surely three figures i mean yeah definitely especially if you know if you took that to a jeweler yeah all you have to do is put some sterling silver jump rings in sterling silver chain around the back done done take it to a jeweler get it appraised i'm sure it's going to be really a shock to you what your, what your appraisal comes back out because yeah. it's got it's all sterling silver Precious gemstones, beautifully faceted gemstones in there. Yeah, as these well. aren't rondelles and these aren't beads. Yeah, these are it. faceted gemstones. There is a definite, di there is a distinctive difference. These are bezel set, um, brilliant cut, uh, sorry, pear cuts, and then you've got your round brilliant cuts in the top as well. I will hold them so you can see them a little bit closer. One of those is falling down, wants to escape. Um, so these are beautifully faceted. They could be cufflinks, they could be earrings, they could be just one simple pendant. I don't know, just like so. Uh, one simple pendant with your chain we were talking about earlier Sarah yeah definitely. I mean look at that sorry I'm not they keep sliding ever so slightly try look at that 
That's it. Because you've got the two connectors, you could just literally have a tiny bit of chain in between. You could put a little bit of chain in between. You could have them cascading down. So maybe uh, make a little frame so they can sit on top of each other. So you can actually have like a Y-shaped neckline piece made out of them. Um, you know, the, once you've got these, they're, they're completely how you use them is completely up to you. So maybe sort of earrings. Look, you could have maybe uh, um, separating uh, uh, connectors. Mm love those there's 10 that you are getting in one pack you are getting 10 of these um, i have got people multi-buying now we've got less than 100 these will sell out they are brand new yeah. top quality I've, I've not really mentioned the gemstones that you're seeing obviously it is your garnet totally and utterly natural one of the most refractive gemstones so it produces incredible incredible brilliance and play of light internally um already big quantity two grams of sterling silver uh, two grams, two different facets of gemstones as well, which are totally natural. 14 by 12 millimeters, um, uh, and uh, in the actual pair cuts that you're seeing there, and your round brilliant cuts. I can give you that quick, them a quick measure actually for you. Um, give those a little a quick measure. They are approximately six millimeters round. Uh, six millimeter round look a handful of our jewelry makers who are getting involved I know lots of you have been messaging in about this I would be inclined to think you know what I, I, I can't pass up an opportunity like this maybe make myself mm -hmm. a piece yeah. um, and then um, if it, I know if you're gifting yeah. then of course you can do that as well you don't have to be gem heavy I'm perhaps being a little bit greedy and saying let me put all ten of them across if you were to put three yeah do three 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 you've got three neckline pieces then one just on a chain as itself with maybe just if you've got some gemstone garnet it's just on to make another neckline with maybe a rosary link style neckline piece. yeah absolutely um, but you've got three enough three four neckline pieces plus a neckline uh, another piece to go into a chain for instance so that's four full pieces of jewelry very easily well, made i am about to show you uh your spotlight deal price and let's just say i know that for for the quality of the garnet for uh, if you incorporated it with, with 925 sterling silver you could easily command that price tag if you sell it that is uh, please do get it valued 17.95 i mean that is actually that's 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 amazing i was thinking these were going to be about 40 pounds so that's a really low price per component was that one pound seventy one is seven one pound seventy nine i've paid more than that for a, for a, a bit of plastic exactly <laughs> this wasn't much bigger it was like a little one pound seventy yeah. you can't get a sandwich for that oh can't even get a coffee for that around me can't even get a coffee yeah you're quite no. right you can from our machine although it's dreadful um <laughs> <laughs> it's dreadful. Uh, £1.79. I mean, look at the detailing. These are faceted gemstones. Yeah. And they're amazing. Qual I mean, get these home, have a look at them, take them out in... in you Into know, natural that, light. That beautiful spring morning that was starting to appear when I came in. Have a look at them and really just you'll fall in love with that deep quality to them and that's the difference the saturation that's what we're looking for yeah. how, how richly saturated it is I'm gonna rephrase what I was talking about earlier um, when I actually said that you could easily easily commission one necklace for the price tag that we're bringing onto your screen I'm sorry you could easily commission this with a sterling silver chain uh, at double the price tag I would say uh, all day long to the moon and back these are brand new they are very 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 popular and if we're talking about all ten then yes most definitely in three figures most definitely mm -hmm. don't sell yourself short but I mean, these are rare gemstones uh, um, and, and, and richness of color when we're talking about garnet which is all mother nature there's no there's no uh, known treatment to actually uh, to, to enhance garnet or make it look better it's it, it's all down to it's either it's either aspirational or it's not so as one of the world's most refractive gemstones which means it has got an uh, amazing ability to give you dazzling dazzling brilliance and Sarah so rightly said take it out into natural daylight that's when you see garnet actually come into its own especially if you had these in the ear and on the decolletage that's because it's quite an exposed area the ear and and then the decolletage you, you're going to see that wonderful performance that rich rich of sort of merlot reds look at the phone lines and look at the web i mean you have gone absolutely crazy for it how many did we have of these originally 84 of these were in the vault um, I've literally got uh, 27 remaining opportunities in that quantity. Uh, Sarah, I, I know you would want to get involved on these, wouldn't you? I would, because um, I, I was like you, almost got shooed on from the jewellers the other day. I was stood outside the jewellers' windows looking, and just a trace chain was a, a 
was you know just a silver trace chain which I would put these onto quite happily mm -hmm. connect them onto uh, was, was you know a lot of money it was over 30 pounds for a yeah. silver trace chain can you imagine one of those no gram weight to it either oh gosh no uh, no gram weight the tiny I mean it's such fine links that you wouldn't be able to to link anything onto it no it's so tiny and I was just so shocked and you've got so much weight of sterling silver here you've got those Two gemstones grams. That's, that's as much as you get in a, in a ring, isn't in it? In a ring, yeah. yeah. Exactly. That's, that's more than your average chain. Yeah. And it's amazing. So, you know, if you, if you get, you've got some of our sterling silver chain, make yourself a beautiful neckline piece and just at a fraction of the cost of what you would expect if you went to a jeweller. And January's birthstone, of course. I mean, um, so if you are a Jan, well, you know, if, you, if you do sell maybe for your, with, with your birthstones or, I'd, I, listen, uh, my birthstone set is, is sapphire, but I, I, my collection is not just based around my birthstone, especially with what I would be missing out and why would you sell yourself short. Uh, these are brand new. They will sell out this morning. Make no doubt about it. I'm down to single figure quantities and I've got more, more of you with it in your basket than I actually have got pieces. Now, um, I've, I've got a back-to-back -back spotlight deal. More of you have got it in your basket than I have got pieces, so first come, first serve on that basis. Now, double, double spotlight deal. To my right, box 11. So what's that in Welsh now? Uno, uno. <laughs> Very close. I know where you're coming from. You've got the right idea. In deg in. So deg is ten. So in is one. You go. You basically what you say one ten one. So same with one ten two. So yeah one ten three. That's how you count in Welsh, and so on. Ooh. I need to open this. This is really heavy. This is for your stamping. Letter punch A to Z one millimeter. Now this is fun. Ooh! <laughs> oh, hang on. They even, they even smell of tools. They do. They smell like your garden shed, your dad's shed. It's because they're oiled for transport. Right. So that's, that. That'll be why then. <laughs> that's that's. And if you get them when you get them out at home, you know, they just you just clean them with a tissue. Um, and then they're fine. But they're, that's that's that smell you get. I love that smell. <laughs> it's that sort of. Look at these. Yeah. Okay, and you've got the letters of the alphabet, A through to Z. Mm -hmm. uh, now, this is for your metals. This is yes. for polymer clay. If you polymer want clay. Yeah. Or you can use it on your friendly plastic as well, when yeah. just, just before it goes Leather. to sets. Leather. You can use it on all sorts of materials. You can use it on your copper sheeting. You can use it on your dye blanks. Um, I've also used this on the little heart charms that you sometimes get in the coming emo findings packs. You can use them on all sorts of different so things. So assuming... Mm -hmm. Now, um, we get one of these and we get our little hammer. Yes, you'll need your um, block to put your blank on and then yes you can get those from our website by yes. the way um, then you put your blank on there you pop your, 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 your little letter yeah a slight ding 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 yeah you need to give it um, a firm tap a firm tap yes because what you want to do is you don't want to be doing multiple strikes because that your, your stamp could move on your yes. blank so you need to that give makes it sense um, and you'll what I would suggest is if you haven't done stamping before if you get um, a piece of um, just a little piece of copper if you've got it at home um, or just um, something like some scales from the scale yes. mails um, and just ta uh, work out the pressure you need to apply with the hammer on a, on a few pieces of, of, of sort of rough if you like practice pieces and then you'll work out that that tension that you know that sort of uh, the right weight you need and that's it done Here's some examples. Look at that. I mean, what a lovely detailing. So you can personalise things. You can. You can. Uh, create things for birthdays. There we go. Uh, you hold the key. Ah, oh, look, I like that. Yes, yeah, so you don't even need to stamp words. You can use them to create texture. And texture. I love that. Um, uh, now, this is a Gemma Crow creation, and she's put a secret message in there. Or all the words spell something. Oh, hang on. What have we got? T U. I'm gonna have to have a look at that. <laughs> We're gonna have to find out what that hidden word is. Uh, dream. Right. Let's bring in your price tag, everybody. Uh, Seven ninety-five. And again, once you've got these, as long as you don't lose them, you've got them for life, haven't you? That's it. Um. You know, I. 
I have about four different sets of stamps for letters, um, and I use them all the time. Uh, you can personalise things. You know, you might want to um, even open things up like your ribbon clasps and open those out, and you can stamp on that little piece of, of metal that, that's there. You know, you can stamp on all sorts of different things, so they're brilliant. Now, um, Ollie's just pointed out something really obvious as well, sorry, that you would think, because these are so weighty, Sarah, yes. that you would be paying extra for postage and packaging. No. <laughs> you only pay one postage and packaging, irrespective of the weight. That makes no difference to us here at uh, our Jewelry Makers. So, well done to every single one of you. £7.95. I mean, that's what would... Personalised gifts, um, maybe personalised... Maybe prices. I mean, how, how classy would that be to actually pricing things? Yeah, you can... Um, with your scale mail, maybe. That's it. You could put your price tags on your scale mail, bits of yeah. ribbon. Ready good to go. Yeah. Uh, dates of birth. Um, maybe you can get a, sort of a, a frame, frame uh, for a picture. Uh, decorate that up as well. Uh, you could probably use it with wood. Yes. Yeah, you could stamp into wood with them. I Absol uh, yeah. Stamp into wood. Um, so maybe make some little plaques, etc. I mean, the, the world is your oyster, quite literally. Um, we've got some messages into uh, into the studio. Lynette in Carmarthenshire. Uh, Diane, Eleanor and Sarah. <laughs> oh, gosh, now hang on a minute. You're yeah. testing me, aren't you? Diolch and Vau, thank you. And Kutch is a cuddle, by the way. Kutch is a cuddle. Um, I can't see. What's, I can't read that first letter. No, that's Dioch. Dioch and Vauernas, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And now, mm -hmm. Carmarthenshire, you do speak, you, you speak it pretty much every single day, don't you? Um, I, we, we learnt it in school um, from the age of four. Uh, but in West, in, in, sorry, in South Wales, you don't really use it every single day, so you do, you do forget. Oh. Um, so, but when I start ch watching sort of Pobla Cum and things like that, that's when it starts coming back to me. So uh, I love the Welsh language. It's just a beautifully, uh, it's lots of, uh, and yeah, rolling of the the R's, etc. Diolch and vowel. My husband speaks Afrikaans, and they have lots of sort of sounds as yeah. well, and I can't do them. It's uh, <laughs> it's quite Wonderful. difficult. It's, 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 it's rotating the tongue, etc. Mm -hmm. I've got another one for you, uh, uh, for you, Sarah. Oh, I beg your pardon, we're going over to you. No, you haven't. Sorry, beg your pardon. <laughs> That's okay. Sorry, lovey. Uh, keep on dialing. People are asking about your necklace, by the way, my darling. Ah, my necklace. They want to have a little look. At your necklace. Can I take it off? Or do you want to leave it on? Uh, well, that's right. We can come over to you, okay. my darling. Let's okay. come over to you. Let me get rid of this. There we go. Uh, yeah, that is amazing. I must admit, I noticed it as well. <laughs> uh, look it's at that. one of my sort of. It's what I. Is that knitting? It's not. It's crochet. Okay. It's is that not the same thing? No. Okay. You sorry. do crochet on a hook, and you do knitting on needles. Yeah. So these are see. I, I don't. I don't pretend to be a. a those are crochet. Oh, look at those! They're snazzy. Yeah. So it's done on a hook, and it's done all in one go. So you choose the size of the hook, uh, dependent on the size of the loop you want to make. Amazing. So the smaller the hook, the smaller the loops. Now, <laughs> speaking of amazing, um, <sighs> this I have to go into. It, it makes me want to sing Enya, seeing Sail Away. Sail away, sail away, sail away. <laughs> do you remember her? I do. Enya and Orinoco Flow and all that. Um, anyway, sail away. Look at the colour combination of these uh, strands. You are going to absolutely adore it. My, the strands I have to show you firstly. <laughs> um, look at this. You've got wonderful garnet on the back of your garnet, uh, your garnet connectors. Uh, beautiful shell pearl. Look at the look, look at the orient. That wonderful reflection that you're seeing on your shell pearl here as well. And of course, uh, your soft baby blue. Now I'm looking at this. I'm thinking. Blue chalcedony. Mm -hmm. Look at that combination. You can see that sort of nautical inspiration behind it, can't you? Can. you? The red, white and blue, very, very nautical, but taking chalcedony, uh, which has got that sort of delicacy. You think about your baby blues, and I suppose you'd think about then, um, I mean, earlier, I was, uh, there's a difference between sort of your tanzanites, that sort of yeah. saturation. Baby blues, it's chalcedony all the way for me. It is, it's beautiful. It's just... It's um, got a lacy-like appeal. Do you know, it always, almost reminds me of a little cloud. Yeah, it's got that feel to it because yeah. it's got those different tones come through. I can see that. 
love that combination. Yeah, I think about sort of uh, Chantilly lace, etc. Mm. I just think it's got a real delicacy to it. Now, love that combination of three strands. But you also get, um, continuing of your nautical theme, three spools of navy blue satin cord, one millimeter. That's that's one millimeter round. Same with your white. Same with your red. Yes. So those. I mean, that in itself. You, I, know, I know you've used it here with beautiful, beautiful uh, sort of designs. I'll show you that in a second. So leave that on its own. Doesn't need the gemstones, does it? You can make beautiful pieces just from the satin on its own. Um, so you can do all these sort of friendship bracelet type pieces with it as well. Exactly. And I know you've got some. Uh, you've, you're going to demonstrate yes. some kumihimo. Then of course you've got your classic beading thread, monofilament, and clear elastic. Never have too much of that, can you? There are essentials to to making jewelry. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. And also your kumihimo ends. Yes again for finishing off all of those multi-stranded projects. Multi, multi strands. I love this combination. I love the gemstone colours. I love the fact you've got those different textures with your with your kumihima. Mm -hmm. And you've made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. Look at this. <laughs> oh, that is incredible. That combination of chalcedony and the shell pearl. Yeah, I, I just absolutely love that. Do you know, I, again, I'm just drawn straight away to pastel tones. I just think it's really, it's, it's your aquamarines. Mm. It's breathtaking, like you said, like a, a summer's day. And then this is clever. This is what we're going to show you. Is that what do. you're going to show? Because yes. this looks really, really interesting. Oh, my word, you've got like a geometric so structure across the decolletage yeah, there. Yeah, it's quite an easy thing to do um, it's once you've got the Kumihimo piece. So it's quite easy to do, really. So do I'll show you how to do that. Do you think anyone would notice if I actually, um, if, this, if this disappeared from the studio? Um, I wanted to photograph. I don't think so. No. <laughs> uh, look at this bracelet. I wanted to I do something a little bridal. Maybe. I mean, it's, it is very lace-like. It is very lace-like, yes. And I thought this would be perfect if you had a flower girl that you didn't want um, to be too overpowering, possibly. Or, you know, you could make a neckline piece out of this. Just carry on doing that and make a neckline piece. Sarah, I love that. So simple to do. It's, 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 it's not simple. It's simple for you. <laughs> it's not simple for me at all. Um, you've made three pairs of earrings, beautiful drop earrings as well. Um, I can't wait. Well, let's introduce your price point because already this is hugely popular. Um, love that sort of classic combination. And the nautical theme is, oh my goodness, nautical sort of colours you see in fashion every single year, don't you? Every single summer. I mean, yeah. how many of you, answer this ladies, have you put your blue jeans on? Maybe a white shirt yeah. and a red blazer, maybe a red pair of killer red heels. Yeah. Or, you know, even if you've got, you know, the sort of boat shoes, you know. That's boat like, shoes? Yeah, yeah, I love boat shoes. Or, or maybe your white trousers, mm. ankle grazer, grazer trousers, boaty shoes. Um, and that, it, it, it's that combination that you see time and time and time again every single, every single summer. I think practically every lady in the land's probably got a blue and white striped top somewhere in their wardrobe. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I certainly have. Yeah. I've certainly got one. Yeah. Um, and these pieces will go amazing with that. Right, let's have a little look because this looks really complex to me. It's not terribly complex, but you just need to, to sort of pay attention to, to the pattern as you're going. Okay. So what you need <laughs> is you need five doubled over pieces, um, sorry, six doubled over pieces, of course, three of the red and three of the navy. And they will end up, you'll end up putting those with a little piece of wire just catching the end. I don't know if you can see that. If I put uh -huh. my hand behind there, it's just where the crocodile teeth are. I've got a little piece of wire, a little piece of blue wire going through there and it's just wrapped that. Mm -hmm. I, you see, just right by those crocodile teeth and that's going through there. That's one end done for you. So those are all doubled over pieces. I've added my weight on there. The weight is important for the tension of the piece and I'm using a 100 gram weight. If you haven't got the 100 gram weight, use the 50 gram. It will, won't pull through quite so much, but it, it, it's better to have a weight on there. Yeah, the more the, 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 more the better. Um, not so much the more the better, but you do need that weight for the tension. Otherwise, um, as you can see, that's underneath. That actually helps to pull through. Yeah, pull it down. Mm -hmm. through and, and it just helps to give the tension to the piece of jewellery. Okay. What I've done is I've set up my cords across my disc and I started in three on the top row and all I did was when I first put them in I went red blue red blue red blue red blue across the top and then I just swat, switched to have two blues in the middle and two reds in the middle so there you go that's how I set it up yep <laughs> and I've done exactly the same at the bottom and mirrored it okay okay and what I've done on the two red cords that are in number three and number 13 is I've put a little knot on the bottom of them and the reason I've put this little knot on the bottom is because it will remind me when they get back to the position they're in. 
that I need to change my disc. So I will show you what I need, mean by that. Mm. So what we're going to start to do is to do the break. Now I'm going to take my weight off because I can keep it closer to the desk if I haven't got the weight on. But you'll, hopefully you'll have the weight on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cord that's in number three and it's going to come around my disc and go into a 90 degree position. So in the letter capital E there. I'm going to take the cord that's on my bottom on my left hand side and hop it over absolutely right. Kathy. Kathy says she'll never cool Mahima without my weights that makes such a difference. They do and it just frees up your other hand as well because you're forever holding the, the braid under there and trying to balance the disc on top so if you've got the weight on there you can actually hold your disc properly. Um, can I just emphasize while, while, whilst, you're, whilst you're doing yeah. that I mean you're getting three strands here including your blue calcedony, your shell pearl and your garnet I mean it's a huge strand of garnet for just 20 pounds uh, just 20 pounds and also your kumahimo mm -hmm. pack and your threading pack and of course your cord so that's a lot I mean for this for the three strands alone it's amazing amazing price point so do keep dialing through I folks to, whilst uh, Sarah is bringing you this garnet because it's such a huge strand of yeah garnet. exactly okay so we're gonna start at the bottom left hand side set of cords and I'm going to start moving the bottom cord to the top and then the top cord to the bottom and you're just going to almost like you're weaving across that central section you're going to take the cords up and over and up and over and you'll get into a really nice easy rhythm Mm -hmm. until you've gone all the way across. Yep. The cord that's now on this side is going to make that 90 degree journey back up to the top this one's now going to come all the way over to this side. So it's going to go from left to right. And then I'm going to drop the one that's on the far left hand side at the top down to the bottom. And you're going to carry on doing that motion and moving your cords from the bottom to the top, from the top to the bottom, all the way across your disc until the cords with the knots on return to that original 3 and 13 position mm -hmm. and you'll know that because you'll have done 10 sets of, of motions. I think it's 10. Oh, now, it's 12, this, sorry. this kit is actually half price by the way Neron. It is yeah. I Neron half price that you're seeing on your screen. That's amazing. So you think you've made all of those pieces of jewellery yes. with, with all the, I mean surely with what you're creating right now yeah. Sarah that will be certainly more than 20 pounds. The fact that Kamehimo pieces, it's the workmanship in yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. You, you know, it's not so much the materials that cost the money, it's the time that, that's taken to put into the piece um, that, you know, you can yeah. charge an awful lot of money. I've just seen cords made up of Kamehimo. Um, in excess of that price tag, surely. Pretty much, yeah, sort yeah. of going to that price tag. Yeah. Just And that's an eight strand round braid. Yeah, definitely. So if I show you what's coming out the bottom of my disc. Excuse my writing on my disc. This is to remind me that I'm using large cords in my disc, so I don't um, use smaller cords in there and they'll slip. Can you see that I've got that zigzag coming out of the bottom? Yes. And that's what you're going to use. You're going to do three rounds of zigzag to, to get that piece of jewellery. So what you need to do is once you get your um, original cords back in their original places, so I'm just going to quickly pop these ones back down. So you'll if you imagine that those two cords have got my knots on them. Yep. What I'm going to do to get the zag in my zig... I was going to ask you that question, how do you get the zag? Because at the moment we're going one direct, in one direction. What you're going to do is once they get there, is you're going to rotate your disc 180 degrees and do exactly the same. Bring this cord down over here, this one over here, and do your up and down motion over the top of them until your cords with the knots on end up back in this original position right. on the far right hand side this time okay and then when that happens you'll turn your disc again 180 degrees and that will create that zig very and zagging. clever and that's what you need to do and you'll need to do that one zig one zag three times yeah to get that piece of jewelry amazing and there it is there it is Zig and Zag still available. Um, I've got lots of you getting involved already. This is half price that you're seeing uh, on your screens. Adore the gemstones. Those uh, those gemstones are very lovely, nautical, yeah. very summery. Um, those soft baby blues. And then you've got that richness of your garnets. Sail away. Um, this is my favourite. I mean, straight away. Do you know, mother of the bride piece. Um, love it. Absolutely love that. Uh, keep on dialing through. There's still opportunities, but our kits, because they are so super affordable, with your Kumihimo ends, of course, they're always going to they're always going to be sellouts. Now it's time for your wonderful creations uh, and for time for you to inspire us in, of course, the Wall of the Fame. Yeah.
just laughing because it's not Wall of Fame. It was the Wall of the Fame. <laughs> uh, you could tell, again. I, I, I was I was awake till two o'clock in the morning, so uh, ah. I start coming out with. Yeah, I think the, the, the next is it's not Lord of the Rings. It's the Wall of yeah. the Fame. <laughs> I love that, and I just think Sarah and I will have. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Oh, I've got number one. Oh. I've got number one. Uh, look at this. Beautiful wire work creation. I adore this colour of wire. Uh, now, this comes from Anne. Hello to you, Anne. And she says, hi, all at JM. My entry uh, this week for the Wall of Fame is my first try at, wi uh, at wire work. Cuff inspired by Laura. Really? That's your first attempt? That's amazing. I, um, I got my kit, po uh, my kit home and have um, replayed the program loads to follow advice. I used copper wire in 0 .5, uh, sorry, 1.5 and 0 0.25 uh, with the black agate and peridot in 4mm rounds and labradorite in 4mm faceted rounds. The result um, is not terrible, but I will try again and see if I can get it right this time. Good luck to all in the draw, especially me in capital letters, because I need to replenish my stash. Can I just say and I have my first attempt at wire work honestly if you spoke to any of the girls upstairs in the office or, bo or boys for that matter did you ever see mine Ollie <laughs> it was dreadful uh, that's in in amazing <laughs> mine was in oh, just a, an absolute mess so well done that, if that's your first attempt you are gonna it's have a huge neat yeah well. a that's huge huge skill Oh, and that's lovely. Gorgeous. I've got 498 here, and this is from Adele. Um, and she says, please find attached a picture of my entry for the Wall of Fame. This was made a few days ago using beautiful freshwater cultured white pearls, pale mint potato pearls, amethyst, and pearl flowers uh, with a pearl plaited strand attached to the silver plated torque necklace. A silver plated wire wrapped pearls. Um, sorry, I read that again. Um, this is actually the first piece of jewellery that I have sold and it will be winging its way to Scotland in the next few days and I'm really proud of it. Always enjoy the great inspiration from the designers, the laughter and the great bargains from the presenters. Best of luck to all woffers. But I have my fingers crossed. Love and stuff and that's from Adele. Ah, oh, I love this. Um, it's woffers, not woofers. <laughs> <laughs> I said woofers. Uh, sorry about that, uh, Wall of Famous. Uh, not woffers, not woofers, like I pronounced earlier on. Uh, yeah, no offence, meant, I promise. 500, love. Look at this beautiful, beautiful, more wire work, amazing wire work, and again, very, very intricate and neat. This comes from Shelley, oh sorry, Michelle, in, uh, Michelle Potter in Hartlepool, and she says, hello all, here's my latest entry to the Wall of Fame, an adjustable ring made with copper coloured uh, uh, copper coloured wire uh, in 1.25mm 1, 1 and 0.25mm. It was going to be a bracelet, but I made it too short. Luckily, it makes a nice ring. Uh, it was my first attempt um, at this type of weave. I've already started it. I started on another. Um, hope you're all well. That's Michelle in Hartlepool. Again, first attempt. Very, very, very neat. That. Yeah, it is. You know, it's one of these things that you know you get into a into a sort of zone doing these. Yeah, weaves, totally. And that's. I love rings that sort of wrap around. Uh, for instance, like a serpent. Well, they're great because you know sometimes your hands swell up as well. You yes. know, and you sometimes just need that little yes. bit of adjustability. Exactly. Um, I've got four nine seven, and this is from Am Amrit in Harry. She says, uh, hello my J dear JM friends, here is my entry for this week, two pearl sets, one peach pearls with silver um, with silver gold plated findings and the second white pearls with silver findings. The picture is not only to show the jewellery, but if you zoom in, you can see that I have used leather around the flat cords uh, from JM on the mirror of her frame and pearls on the frame. I noticed that, yeah. Oh, they're beautiful. Um, and was, these pearls were from a necklace bought from a sister channel, Dem TV. Oh, I wish uh, for a win so I can buy some more goodies. So good luck to me and the others too. Love to all from Amrit. Lovely Amrit, and I and again I, I literally mentioned earlier on in the show that I love detailing mm. sort of my yeah. uh, furniture and things like that. So yeah, great idea. Beautiful. And sticking with the pearls, this is 499, and it comes from Sharon in Coventry, only up the road. Sharon, <laughs> and she says, "Hi all at JM. This is my entry to the Wall of Fame. Uh, it's beautiful uh, hematite chips and lovely toggle clasp bracelet made with all items from jewellery maker. Haven't entered in a while, but I thought I would this time." 
um, and I'm so glad you did, Sharon. Love that that that, that. with hematitis. I was looking at it thinking it was B or pills. Mm -hmm. but oh yes, under closer inspection, you can see hematite, which has got a wonderful sort of metallic appeal. Mm -hmm. A gemstone we don't see very often, by the way, Sharon. Um, uh, certainly on our sister channel. So love, love, love that. It's going to look wonderful around the uh, around the wristline. Good luck to every single one of you in the draw. Um, now, uh, don't go anywhere though, because like I said, we've got more clearance opportunities, more 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 uh, spotlight deals, and more. Uh, uh, um, one of which, by the way, is coming up straight after straight after this break, and it is totally natural, beautifully visionary gemstone, an abundance of colour, which is fetching in excess in excess of five hundred pounds per carat for, for for exceptional grade uh, in the industry. Um, uh, and yet, we're bringing it to you, of course, at a jewelry maker price. Coming up after this wonderful pink tourmaline. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Wall of Fame, The Genuine Gemstone Company, Unit 2D, Eagle Road, Moons Moat, Redditch, B989HF. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. Here at Jewelry Maker, we love seeing your jewelry creations, learning about your inspiration and reading your blogs. If you write your own craft or jewelry blog, then we'd love to hear from you. Simply tweet us at jewelry underscore maker UK with your blog link and we'll be in touch. I'm Sandra, I've been on Gemma Crow's Structured Wirework course um, and I've learned some amazing techniques. She showed me how to work hard and how to use wire, wire working in the best way without um, hurting your joints and how to manipulate the wire. Um, hammering and made an amazing talk necklace which I never thought I would be able to do and I've learned so much, so many techniques. It's been an amazing day. I've thoroughly enjoyed everything. Jewelry Maker ships to the following countries. We offer two delivery services, standard and premium. So wherever you are in the world, Jewelry Maker are never far away. Get creative with Mark Smith with his Craft Fair DVD. Mark guides you through six sections of fascinating techniques that sell the best on his very own successful craft fairs. He concludes his DVD by sharing his own tips and hints that make his own stalls very popular. To get your hands on a copy of this fantastic DVD, contact our call center on 0800 644 655. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. You are looking at one of the most uh, rainbow adorned gemstones on the entire planet and uh, I guess it was believed once upon a time to be the gemstone that fell through a rain rainbow and that's how it adopted so many visionary colours. But 
tourmaline as a wonderful gemstone it is totally and utterly natural it's not enhanced in any way shape or form like so many color gemstones are in fact the majority of color gemstones are to actually get what you're seeing on your screen with that fluidity and uh, a continuation of saturation throughout the entirety with a wonderful transparency and clarity it, it can it, it can actually fetch hugely considered premiums and, and Tourmaline is a gemstone which you will find in, in some of the biggest and most coveted jewellery houses. Um, I had a conversation with, uh, with with some of our bosses upstairs about uh, about various different gemstones and it was literally, I, I was sort of pretty much in the studio so I don't think I was actually on show and just sort of like, okay, tell me, si tell me the situation, uh, how's it all looking with maybe some of the gemstones out there, what's, what, what, what's standing out to us, what need, do I need to share with our customers? And Tourmaline was one of those gemstones that did actually come up. And um, I was informed that for, 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 for grade, for, for a high quality grade of tourmaline, you can expect to pay 500, uh, in excess of 500 pounds per carat weight. Now, I'm not saying that that's what this would be valued at. I'm not qualified to do that. But um, that doesn't surprise me. And, and if you actually look on, you know those auction sites? Uh, you know those auction sites? Enter in there tourmaline. Uh, have a little look at tourmaline onto a, a, your, your, your auction sites, and you will see pieces in excess of four figures. Um, and by the way, heavily included pieces. In fact, one of the worlds, I, I was looking on there the, a, a, few, a few months back in actual fact, and they had one of the biggest, most coveted jewellery design, designers feature a tourmaline piece, and it had a different colours, it had your pinks, it had your greens, it had your, uh, um, et cetera, and yellows in there, I think it was as well. Very heavily included, very, very heavily included, but yes, it was still fetching in excess of, 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 of thousands of pounds. Now, like I said, I'm not saying that's what this would be valued at if you had it commissioned in a piece, but I am saying, about you have got intrinsic value with tourmaline. It is known also to be the, one, the most complex gemstone. And what I mean by that is the actual chemical composition I couldn't write it. I couldn't actually write it. It's like it's it, it's it's like it it's like well it's a foreign language to me quite literally. It has the most or probably well, probably the most different chemicals which have to be present at any one present moment in time to produce this this miracle of nature. Uh, look at I mean look at those exquisite dusky pinks that you get from tourmaline. It's it's not that bubblegum pink that you sometimes see in sapphire. It's that subtle dusky pink which will look wonderful as we showed you earlier on with maybe those pearls look wonderful with with your tanzanite even look incredible it's a classy classy tone in actual fact this is a double strand so you can see the amount of tourmaline that you're getting over 50 carats considerably over 50 carats and these are of course your little delicate little uh, uh, what we call them nuggets um, I and I know I referred to this last time that I was on 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 jewelry maker I refer to a necklace that Carrie Bradshaw of sex in the city and even if you don't watch that program no problem it doesn't matter but she's very up on fashion shall we say and she's very good at securing these high-powered uh, wealthy men as fellas so shall we say uh, so she got gifted in one series she got gifted a diamond necklace and they were actually diamond nuggets uh, necklace which was on simply on a simple chain I, I, don't, I don't know if it was gold probably probably gold um, but it, it was it was obviously very very expensive I imagine having a sort of pink having a pink tourmaline just maybe an inch section in the center with simple a simple chain either side I mean you've got something which is absolutely simple but yet really really elegant it doesn't need to be over complicated totally natural that you are seeing it tourmaline is a gemstone like I said it's very much on our radar here uh, here at jewelry maker and on our sister channels because it's so difficult to actually get hold of um, and and the premiums are hugely escalating hugely hugely escalated you can see that depth of saturation you can see that wonderful dusky pink color it's very complimentary like I said, it's not that sort of uh, bold bubblegum pink which not everybody loves it's it, it's got an elegance to it hasn't it it has it's got almost um it's sort of the Morganite tones coming through yes. almost. It's got that real sort of opulent, beautiful, feminine tones. Well, it's almost a natural kind of pinkish yeah. tone, isn't it? So, like, so you sometimes see maybe with your pink sapphires, which is a little bit more bubblegummy or candy floss pink. Um, so it's not quite so complimentary to all skin tones, but this absolutely is. Now, already I've got collectors there. Already I've got multi buyers there. Uh, so well done. Let's introduce your price tag. Could please remember that in excess of five hundred pounds per carat for extra fine grade in many retailers. In, in the industry that's a price point that we are seeing time and time again I'm not saying that's what this 
to be valued at. Um, I'm not qualified to do that, but yet we bring it to you at £15, 14.95 to be precise, and it's a big, big, big carrot weight. I mean, you wouldn't necessarily commission um, a piece with, with all 65 carats, so it's not necessary. No, I mean, if you, you know, the style of necklace that I'm wearing now that with the crochet in, if you wanted to do that and just put one of those intermittently on, on, each, on each, you could do it on each little loop if you wanted to. Um, along the neckline <coughs> and you'll end up with a really quite a sort of lacy delicate looking piece of jewellery with lots and lots of sort of pops of that coming through but you won't use very many at all. No and tourmaline like I said I, I don't think it gets enough press as it as, as it deserves no. because we, 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 we know about tanzanite we know about diamonds we know about sapphires we know about emeralds we know about rubies etc etc tourmaline is a gemstone which does come in different locations around the world so could potentially be a member of the big five certainly in terms of its beauty um, it is used by all of the big prestigious jewellery houses. I, I am talking your Bulgari, I am talking your Cartier, I am talking your your your, your, your um, uh, Cartier, etc. Used by those jewellery houses because of a wonderful, wonderful colour, natural colour that it produces. Um, we've got a message in from Barbara and Gloucestershire saying, wow, uh, got this and we'll be uh, mixing it with Peridot. Oh, yes, that would be amazing, wouldn't it? Uh, Peridot, I love uh, the two cut, the two natural gemstones, and that's you know what though, Barbara. You know, I just mentioned all those jewellery houses. Um, they're mixing it with different colours. Uh, colour, the, the actual colour pops, those sort of combinations, your pinks, your greens, or your, your blues, uh, your yellows, those big colour pops are very, very on trend, not just in, ju in jewellery, but also in your fashion. They too do tend to go hand in hand, in actual fact. But I, I really encourage you to have a little research of the prices of tourmaline elsewhere. I really encourage you to have a look on that, uh, on that auction site, that I, you know, the obvious ones. See, and enter tourmaline next time you're shopping with them uh, got to move on in the essence of time but well done to every every single one of you uh, moving on to now midday today I have got your Biwa pearls uh, these are all gonna sell out how many have we got available 200 it's not enough not when we're talking Biwa pearls uh, beautiful organic formations um, very full, uh, full of texture full of really decadent uh, uh, well, uh, well uh, you've got you've got that opulence across the surface of the gemstones uh, totally natural formations of course and I love that these are coming up at midday so not long to wait 200 available of these in the vault uh, moving on okay let's bring you I tell you what, I don't get to spend time with you here at Jewelry Makers that often, do I? Can we do an Eleanor deal? And I'm literally saying it, and Dion, I, I know I don't know what you've got on your schedule that this is going to, but can we do a can we do a um, Eleanor making friends with the Jewelry Makers deal? Is that alright? Because this will look lovely with those beaver pearls. One L of a deal! Let's do an hell of a deal. I love that, Ollie. You are clever. You can tell you. You can tell you're a musician, and you write your songs. Is it true that musicians and singers are very passionate? <laughs> uh, okay, we'll bring you an hell of a deal. We need to get a bug for that. Definitely, definitely do. Hell of a deal. Look at that combination. Uh, now, absolute staples, would you agree? Your your white faceted quartz? Definitely. Absolutely. It gives you that diamond-like appeal, doesn't it? It gives you all those sparkles of the diamonds. It gives you all that light to your jewellery. And it depends what you're using. You can just change the feel of a piece of jewellery by adding just a few extra um, dashes of sort of clear quartz into there because it just really breaks up your design, allows the light to come through, allows those beautiful skin tones to come through. And I have a huge box full of clear quartz that I keep right next to my desk that yeah. I use all the time for, for design. It's got to be like your finding, surely. You know, you've got to have yeah. it in your collection. Definitely. You, you, you've got to, got to have it. Uh, I mean, it, it complements everything. That's the thing I could go on and on and on. Everything that I've got available here. Oh, look at this. Uh, look at that. I mean, there's summer right there. There's summer right there. Okay, let's bring you an, an L of a deal. I was going to bring it to you at 7.90, or rather, or rather, Dion was going to bring it to you at 7.99. But um, Dion, can we do an L deal? An L of a deal. 
Um, are, are we are we not meant to be going under under six pounds? <laughs> Hello, Oxby, that's me, uh, Martha. That was me. I will own this one. It's not meant. We're not. That's that, that's an illegal price point, you know. I, I know. It's not supposed to go. That Do you know low. what though? Do you know Sarah? Don't care. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll accept it. Do you know what? I'll take the blame. I'm a big girl, got broad shoulders. <laughs> I have, I've got, I, I am a big girl. You know what, they won't, they won't, they, they, uh, uh, listen, do you think Ma Martha and Hannah, to them, they're my mates, they're not going to come and tell me off. I got sorry, I didn't know. I'll, do, I'll just play dumb. I did. I didn't know. Sorry, I made a do it on live television. Uh, well done, you, uh, Sylvia, Irina. You've got yours. An hell of a deal. I love that. Uh, Belinda, Christina, Anne, Lorraine, Sue, Zena. Hello to you, uh, Hertfordshire, Gillian, and Joan. Uh, it, it it is a staple, isn't it? And you've got that eight millimeter round. Um, you, I, I would actually say rethread this maybe with with whatever beading thread, one pearl. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you can make little pendants out of these with, with one particular gemstone, you know, your feature gemstone, straight onto a chain, that could be your pendant. Um, great for all of your bridal pieces, great for all of your, just, you know, your little black dress pieces as well, you know, they're always, you know, coming round, you need just that little piece of elegance. I think they're just amazing. Look at that. Uh, can I just say Hannah Roxbury is dancing around up. Come here, Hannah Roxbury. Don't be, don't be, don't be just stick. She, she, she's, 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 she's flutter, fluttering, but she's gone now. She keeps fluttering past the actual, uh, and, and Martha's uh, message down, is she? Uh -oh. Yeah. Listen, they can't do anything for an hour and a half, can they? Because, you know, we're, we're live television. Uh, still coming through. Well done. Massive queues on the phone lines. Big people buying threes, twos. Um, um, it goes with everything. And I've got pieces like this. We'll do. We'll throw a few more hell of a deals in. I think. I need to get a graphics. To put, if it, listen, um, Ollie. If, if 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 we're to come back, this needs to be a regular thing, don't you think? It has got a. It's, you, you're so clever. An hell of a deal. <laughs> um, and it has to be an Ill illegal price point because I am that reckless. Uh, <laughs> should we do some more hell of a deals? Can we? I know you suggested that, Dion. Sorry, I should have been a bit more subtle in my choice of words and then I could have owned it. No, sorry. Yes, Dion, let's do some more hell of a deals. Let's do some more, please. Should I br no, you can't do it with that, though. You can't. <laughs> Spessartite garnet. Can't do it. No. It has got my name all over it. <laughs> oh, garnet, totally natural. Now, garnet does not just come in red. Obviously, I know regulars here at Jewelry Maker will appreciate that. You can get very, very, some of the world's rarest gemstones actually come from the garnet family. Your Zavarite garnet, of course. Specitite, which is, it is specitite is actually sort of surface mined. Uh, so you think about it, and I'm just going to see if I've got, yeah, uh, the country of or origin actually has got a wonderful sort of golden color across the surface of the ground as well. So very difficult to actually mine this gemstone. Let's bring you an hell of a deal for 25 carats of beautifully natural specitite garnet, dazzlingly refractive, those beautiful, sumptuous, juicy oranges. Oh, I could just eat an orange now. Uh, look at that colour, breathtaking, isn't it? And if you have bought um, my boss's l uh, recent book, which is The Law, which is available, you can speak to our call centre about that, um, included in your one postage and packaging throughout the course of the day, um, The Law book, uh, it, it, what, what gemstones have you got featured on the front cover? Specitite garnet because we were so, we discovered um, an amazing amazing sort of deposit in in, in Africa. Um, it's it's actually the only gemstone where the location is a hidden secret. Did you know that? He won't tell even his son where the actual mine uh, where the gemstone is being mined because unfortunately specitite is so limited and it is a surface mine gemstone. If if it's leaked to any of our competitors or any uh, any other uh, traders out there, it'll be gone within a couple of weeks. It would be gone within a couple of weeks. 
totally natural. Uh, let's bring you an hell of a deal again. I like being naughty. <laughs> we should be we should be thirty four ninety five. I tell you what, let's go, go on, go on, go on, go on, do it, go on. Yeah, how low can you go? How low can you go? How low can you go? Hell of a deal. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Again, I'll own it. Can someone give me a, a get me a sign to say hold up, saying I own that one. I need like a little paddle to hold up, just for just saying I, 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 that L's L, L's deal, L of a deal. I and then flip it round going I'll own it. That is that's that's huge. That's absolutely huge. I've got multi buyers there, and I do not blame you. I mean, that would. I mean, you could. You, I just again, just as a small, small section of your specetite on on maybe the gold plated sterling silver. It would have to be sterling silver. Definitely, definitely for specetite. I would not use anything else because it's just so, I, I, so opulent, so rare. It's so beautiful. I just would want it to put special with special. It's, we call it the um, African secret, and the reason why we call it the African secret is because go down to the fact that it's this the, the new discovery that we found in the Serengeti. That's as much as I can tell you, in terms of, um, and this is on our sister channels now. Um, it's it, it, that's it. That's all we know. That's all we know. Couldn't tell you the exact location. And Steve will take that. Uh, he will take that quite literally to the grave. He said because um, if if it leaks, then within a matter of weeks, it's always the case when it comes to your specotype. If if it leaks that that location, then unfortunately it'll be gone within a couple of weeks. Yeah. And uh, and then we don't know when we're going to be able to bring you specotype in the future. In fact, you answer answer me this, jury makers. How often do you see this gemstone on jury maker in the show? It's it's very rare. Isn't it? I think I've used it in the show once, and, once. I've, and I've seen it on the show probably half a dozen times. And how long have you been at Drew Maker? Nearly five years now. There we go. <laughs> there we go. See, very, very seldom. And it's it's wonderful to think this is a natural gemstone. You'd be forgiven for thinking that this has maybe been coated. Um, and you, you, you've been forgiven for thinking that, that it had been irradiated um, but uh, no, this is all Mother Nature's doing it's that wonderful, really uplifting colour that orange is you think about, uh, you think about sort of brands and, uh, and big big companies that will bring this colour in maybe in, I mean, it's actually in our graphics right there, the colour orange obviously um, because it is one of those sort of cheerful colours, it's known to be one of the most happiness inducing colours on the planet and, and very limited, specotite garnet um, in particular because it does come in like I said earlier, those that, that array of colours but this is certainly one of the rarest certainly, certainly one of the rarest colours you get your reds, you get your sort of purple garnets you get your zavarite green garnets um, you can actually get your colour change garnets as well Specitite garnet, um, uh, and like I said, featured on, on on Steve, my boss, his his latest book because we're so so the African secret, and this is from Africa. Hello to you, you Leah. Hello to you, Tyne and Ware, Karen, John, uh, Claire, Marion, Emma, Sue, Tina. Um, uh, keep on dialing through. I've got multi buyers there. Uh, dear ladies, Eleanor, uh, you should come on every week. Ah, uh, oh, thank you, thank you very much, Sandra. That's I'd love. Um, shall I have a little word? I'd love to. I love coming back to the jewellery maker studio. It is like me coming home, you know, because I started here. Do you know, it's almost three years since I've been here now. Time flies, absolutely flies, doesn't it? Uh, I love coming with you, Sandra. It's, I love joining you because you are. This is where my, where the journey began, and, uh, and, I'm, I, and, and I love coming back. I know I'm a sentimental old fool. I am a sentimental old fool. Um, and I, I, and if, I tell you what, next time I come back, Ollie, who do I speak to about getting an L of a deal bug? Can you do me one? Because then we can justify this, can't we? I don't think there's any justifying it, to be truthful. <laughs> I, and I think it needs to have a, a really cheesy picture, like <laughs> something like that. Do you reckon? Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Like a, a bit like a, a bit like um, what's his name, Brucey, Bruce, not Bruce Forsyth. <laughs> <laughs> not Bruce Forsyth. What's the bull on Bullseye? 
<laughs> yeah, like bully. <laughs> I want to have a bit. I want to be like bully. Hasn't he? In one. Yeah, in two. Um, and I want to wear the sort of fighting shorts that he's wearing as well. Uh, keep on dialing through, folks. Well done. Got to move on. I don't know where bully came from. He just came to my head. Just came into my head. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's bring you. Okay, Sarah, is this you? Uh, yes, it is me. Your Kumihimo edition two DVD. Yes. Uh, is the uh, oh now you've got si six different techniques. That's right. Including the half flat braid on a round disc. Yes. Twelve strand spiral design. Yes. Oh, that sounds technical. It's not. See. Adding beads. Yes. You say that every time. Well, now. I know. It's, it's easy when you've got the DVD. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's the benefit. With yeah. a DVD, stop, start at your own yes. pace. Um, and you haven't got to worry about YouTube. Stop and start it. Pass it on to friends, etc. I've given my mum loads of our DVDs because she's started in jewelry making now. Uh, eight strand shippu. It's a shippu braid. Is a, it's like a ladder braid, so it has an open structure to the centre of it. So you can add gemstones to it. You can put a uh, thread chain through it. So it's it's a lovely braid. Okay, uh, um, Maru Yotsu. Maru Yotsu, <laughs> which is a four. Going back to Poppy Ping, isn't it? Poppy Ping, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a four strand braid. So it's a four strand Kumihimo braid. So it makes delicate braids for you. So if if a eight strand Kumihimo braid was too thick for the item that perhaps the neckline piece you wanted to make, you can make a four strand braid. And also you get the finishing touches. The finishing touches is quite a large section. We go through lots of different ways to finish off using the Kumihimo ends, using your wax Y cone, using ribbon cord endings. Um, how to um, to do the um, wrapping at the end of your cords as well, so you can actually get your findings on. So we do all of that on the end of that section. So six different techniques, well actually more than six. Yes. <laughs> Going by what you're saying about the last section. Um, that all our DVDs are an hour long. Um, that, and you would pay, I, I know, you pay in excess of 20 pounds for sort of tutorial DVDs. I have, yeah, definitely. Um, and you don't often get Sometimes you don't even get an hour on those. So, you know, you've got a full hour here or just near enough an hour of, of tuition. And this is um, a great DVD if you haven't done Kamehameha before, you don't need to know anything about it. You can actually get this DVD and go straight in with these projects. Mm -hmm. So, um, the way that we've stepped through it is that you don't necessarily need to know anything about Kamehameha at all. So, so basically, thing. get sort of go. You, you can get our um, Kumihimo discs. Yes. Have a little look on our website. I'm sure uh, we can introduce the graphics and the code for that. We've certainly given you opportunities with the cord, etc. Yes. And we've got another kit to bring you, which is great for sort of Kumihimo as it well. It is indeed. Yes. Um, and then get your DVD, and you're good to go. It's one. It's 4.95 only. It's one of those. The, the, the beauty of sort of Kumihimo is you don't need to invest heavily to actually get yourself started, do you? You don't. All you need is some cords. So if you've got the the bundle with the cords, the glue yeah. and the, um, the ends. Early bird. Early um, bird. That's perfect. You're ready to go with a disc and a DVD and that's it. If you want to invest in a weight, perfect, but you can always um, just use a bag of coins. Absolutely. There's your early bird code, by the way. It's the first uh, opportunity and, and, and it included all, what's that? I can't see it. KYGC07. Included six spools of cord and your Kumi Hemo ends, which you'll we'll cover in the finishing touches. Yeah. And of course your glue. Yes. So you're good to go with this, aren't you? You are, so you just uh, need a disc, that's pretty so much it. So what's that, what was that, Nine, 15 pounds and you're starting the jewellery medium? That's it, and that is such, I don't know any, very few crafts that you can actually pick up for such a low price, a new medium in a craft. I love jewellery making because the, most of the mediums you can pick up very, very easily. Exactly, yeah. and you're, 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 you're totally right. Leave that with you, got to move on. Uh, box number 22, 22, 22, and I've got the disc. Um, in this bundle. Oh, I love these colours. Uh, do you know what? These colours will go amazing with box eight. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right, six spools of your wonderful uh, satin cord. These are one millimetre gauge. Uh, look at these colours. The spools are handy as well, aren't they? They are. They. they now, I noticed Hannah Osborne was using those as weights. Yeah, you use those to um, weight the side of your uh, braid. So, right. where's my other one gone? Uh, but, but the cords, they're actually on the cords themselves. So, if you're doing something like a beaded kumihimo piece, 
which I've got in the next kit, you need to have the bobbins to help you to keep it from tangling. Right. Because you imagine if you've got cords with beads on, they're just going to tangle up to each other. I've only got, I've got less than 50 of these though. Um, whenever we bring you the Kumi Hemo discs, they always sell out, don't they? That's it. And the square one is the, you know, is a different, it allows you to create all the flat braids, the zigzag, um, and it allows you to do lots of different designs. So like what you were doing in the, in the yes. actual kit previously, yes. so if you wanted to make that sort of uh, geometric shape that Sarah had yes. across the decolletage, yes. um, so you need the square for that. You need the square. So you get that. the circular ones, you get the square ones. That's it. The, the tool tools that allow you to create different types of braids. So on the round one, you typically create um, a round cylindrical type braid, and typically on the square plate, you create something that's flat. Now, Sarah, um, you're going to separate it. Tell me what you would expect to pay for them separately. separately. The bobbins on their own. Not four, the, four bobbins. That's no 40 metres. No cord. Um, oh, the bobbins. Just the bobbins on so their own. So that's these, the yes, plastic cases. Yes, yep, the bobbins. Okay. I have paid upwards of two pounds a bobbin. Okay, that's eight pounds. So for the cord? <laughs> um, I've paid three pounds for five metres before now. My, oh my, my. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's, well, you're getting, you're getting on this. That's 24, well, <laughs> there you go. There's, there's, there, there's meters. 40 metres there. Yeah, so it's 24 pounds for the cord. 24 pounds for the cord, mm -hmm. wowzers. So uh, 24, um, <laughs> 32 pounds for that already, plus this. Uh, you could pay anything up to four or five pounds for one, depending on where you so buy So let's them. call it 30, let's say round it down to 35 pounds. Yeah. For everything here. You could pay that. Yeah, well, that's not jewelry maker though, is it? No. <laughs> it's not. I don't look. <laughs> yeah. I know people who've paid that just for the Oh, it's an hell of a deal. It is. No, I'm not going to own that. That wasn't me. That was Dion. <laughs> that was totally Dion. Um, and again, get the DVD and you're good to go. You are absolutely good to go. Yeah, that's it. All you need to do I is... I love that. these colours. <laughs> That's it. I mean, and those colours, when you when you braid them, it changes. When you use the Kamihimo, it changes the colour. So we saw on the on the previous one that we did with the with the sort of navy and the red. Yeah. When you look at it from a distance, uh, one of the ladies in the workshop said, she said, oh, it's um, it's a sort of a, a, a marini red. And I said, no, it's got navy in it, but you can't see from a distance. You can't yeah. always see those, and it just changes the it's tones. It's a bit like mixing paint, isn't it? It it's is. About, it's mixing your colours, yeah. sort of what you were taught as a, as a youngster, sort of mixing your yellows and greens, etc. It's it, it's it, it's it's seeing that and seeing it from a distance, mm -hmm. and you it's not so it's not detectable until you're actually up close and personal with mm -hmm. it. Uh, Seven ninety five. We've got lots of you. I mean, a great gift opportunity. We've got Mother's Day coming up next week. Yeah, that's it. It's it's you know, it's a new medium for someone to get into. It could be for the children as well. You know, you've got half you've got a full term coming up for Easter. Yes, so exactly. If you're like me, it's two and a half weeks. You've got the little angels at home, um, <laughs> and you know you're going to have rainy days. You're going to have you know time to fill with them so you know I would be buying several of these and I'd have my children well I do have my children at home coming here mowing with me and they absolutely I love bet it. they're masters at it aren't they um, my son can now teach other people how to do it can so, he? and he's 10 Oh, bless him. Yes, so he's bless taught him, a very good him. friend of mine to come here when she's she's away with it now. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Kids take things up really quickly. Do you know, I was watching, this is, I guess, slightly deviating. I was watching something online the other day, and I'm, I, I love skiing, I, when I, time permitting, obviously. I do love skiing, and I was watching a little video, and there was a youngster, and it's got to be, when, when you go skiing, right, and you'll see these little youngsters who whiz past you. You know, I've been skiing since I was quite, I was, uh, well, less than 10 years old. Uh, these little youngsters whiz past in little helmets and little goggle hats like that, mm, uh, down, down the hill. Oh, <laughs> it's hilarious. Uh, but I was watching them, but they can't, a child on, online couldn't have even been two years old. And on, it, was on, it was on a snowboard, which looked really cute, and he was like, ah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not even two years old, just, you know, looking all cool on, on the piste. Um, kids take things up so quickly. They do. It probably took me maybe two or three minutes to teach Vincent the first time, and then I had just had to remind him the second time we went back to it, the moves, and now he just says, oh, no, no, I know what I'm doing now, Mum. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it is, 
it, it is it is one of those skills that again once you, it's like riding a bike I suppose once you got it you got it and you're away with it aren't you that's it it's, it's you know but having the DVDs is a great reminder if you forget something like you know the um, Shippu Braid for instance it's quite technical there's quite a lot of moves in it before you get back to the beginning um, so sometimes it's nice just to have that there just to remind you how to do that exactly absolutely 7 95 and we added it all up in excess of 35 pounds indeed um, so amazing well done and to every single one of you. Let's move to a, what, a what, sorry? A spotlight deal. Is it going to be that pyrite? Oh, do you know what? Because it goes with my outfit, I can't see it keep making up excuses. Anyway, spotlight deal coming up. Big opportunities already. I, I, I know where this is going to. They are huge individual gemstones, beautifully faceted. Now, um, this is your coated pyrite. And I can remember once upon a time um, here on Drew Maker, conversations sort of that were being uh, sort of made and questions that were being asked about how you basically, um, at one point, we, we fell out of, you fell out of love with your coated gemstones. Now. Um, I know that's no longer the case now. I know that is actually no longer the case. And the reason why I'm saying this is because a coated gemstone is, is basically the same as, 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 as most gemstones out there in a sense that 95% of the world's gemstones actually undergo some kind of treatment, whether that be irradiation, whether that be fissure filling, whether that be uh, heating, whether it, w whatever it is. Um, coating really adds to the overall beauty of it. And when you're looking at pyrite, particularly... Uh, uh, it, with this with this opportunity this this um, amazing spotlight deal you couldn't actually get this wonderful metallic beauty if it wasn't actually undergoing that slight treatment breathtaking genuine gemstones uh, huge 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 big carat weight it is your spotlight deal and it's coming up right now Three hundred and fifty carats. It's got that almost copper-esque, morganite, pink blush, beautifully exquisitely faceted gemstones with that dazzling metallic appeal. I and mean, whenever I look at sort of your coppers, your golds, or your rose golds, because you are seeing definite rose gold hues coming through there, it it really conjures up imagery images of of luxury, you're thinking about gold bars, you're thinking about maybe champagne, you're thinking about decadence, you're thinking about, I don't know, big golden swags in terms of interior design, your velvet, it's, it's, it's real, real sumptuous quality. And that is exactly what, firstly, pyrite is all about, where you have those natural, so those wonderful, so wonderful fool's gold inclusions. But then, to add to that, that wonderful copper color, which is going to be so harmonious with all of your different findings, whether it be the sterling silver, whether it be uh, your yellow gold, whether it be the rose gold, whether it be the antique bronze, the combination of using those different colours, and by the way, uh, so the, that, that can be quite symbolic, which I'll talk to you about in a second, uh, but the actual copper colour is known, and uh, the coppery sort of pinkish blush, known to be the most co uh, complementary of, uh, 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 of all the tones um, of golds, if you like. Absolutely adore this and you have got two four six eight ten eleven individually faceted pyrites on this opportunity i haven't brought you a strand like this in ages and sarah I, can i just ask you as well would you would, would you be using uh the, the, the so the details that we've got in between the gemstones to actually finish this off maybe or use it further yeah, you could definitely keep those and use them for um, spacing out other pear drops shaped gemstones or um, top jewel gemstones but you can actually um, use those if you wanted to keep them just in between I would possibly cut them down so that the stones are just slightly closer to each other on a neckline piece just to give that extra little bit of drama um, but you, you could make, you know, if you wanted to make some more, you know, you can use your gizmo to make even more of those or maybe emphasise that little design detail even more by using your gizmo. Do you know, um, we've got coming up, and is it, is, is, is it, is it coming as well, Dion, um, Black Spinel. Black Spinel is coming up, which will be, it's just like that go hand in hand, marriage made in heaven. I mean, it is real decadence then. We're talking about, oh, 
it, it just it just reminds me of, of 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 all things relaxing, all things luxurious, all things very expensive as you can as you can imagine. Look how it captures and play with plays with the light. Every single one of those beautiful beautiful facets. Uh, they are significant. They are sizable. 50 millimeters is that central gemstone here. And you need only really include one of those onto a, onto a pendant. It, pyrite, I, I, I absolutely adore. It has, like I said early, earlier on, got sort of, uh, I guess, I'm trying to think of other words for other words for sort of the metallic beauty. But let's go back to the fact that I said earlier that those different tones of gold um, can be quite symbolic. And it was Cartier that first introduced it, and uh, and still do use. So they've got a collection. I'm not comparing because it's totally different. They do it with your golds, not your gemstones. Um, but Cartier introduced a collection called the Trinity Collection, and uh, it uses yellow gold, it uses the white gold, and it also uses your rose gold. Uh, the yellow gold is said to be said to be symbolic of your friendship which is lovely how lovely is that and then your white gold is said to be in uh, symbolic of your fidelity and the rose gold is symbolic of your love so it's using those different colors for a specific meaning and 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 knowing how how, how creative all of our jewelry makers are and never be afraid to actually not just in terms of your design don't just limit yourself to that use the use these use the colors and maybe you have that to sort of inspire you to maybe have a little designated collection you yeah, know definitely. Um, uh, and use the colours of, uh, of your golds or, or your, your sterling silvers or your findings of, of the gemstones. Maybe uh, maybe think, I mean, I brought you earlier on, I think it's sold out already, but smoky quartz with this gemstone. Uh, there's literally a few left of these maybe. How, look how wonderfully they go together. Um, I'll introduce the graphics onto the bottom of the screen if you want to still get that. But 350 carats right now of this wonderful fusion of colour. Uh, it, it is one of the most dramatic strands, certainly, in fact, probably the most dramatic strand that I've brought you throughout the entirety of the morning. Um, your pearls are coming up next, which look incredible in this as well. Lots of you getting involved, lots of you checking out straight away. Pyrite, very, very rare. Certainly don't see it frequently on our, on our sister channels. Very, very rarely do. Okay, let's introduce that price point. $17.95. I mean, just for one of those. Uh, th this is genuine gemstone. It's not plastic. It's not synthetic, obviously. It's not man-made. That's not what we are about here at Jewelry Maker. Uh, we are about bringing you the quality, the aspirational gemstones, and bringing them to you at f uh, a fine, high-end, high-end uh, premium quality, and obviously an affordable price tag. I mean, w would, would you be inclined to maybe incorporate maybe your antique bronzes, your silvers? I would definitely be mixing up my metals with those. Yeah. I think they're just brilliant to do that with. And whether you want to take them on a really modern route, or whether you want to go maybe down a little bit of a vintage feel as yeah. well, and maybe to bring in some of the steampunk feel where you are really mixing up your antique bronze and your, your rose gold metals together, maybe bringing in some of their elements, maybe with the um, keys and the cogs and things like that, to bring those in, to be able to bring that into the design. I think that would be um, you know, a beautiful way to use them. Well, the old is new. That I mean, vintage is 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 very, very, very on trend. You're certainly seeing it in the big glossy magazines like your Vogue and your Cosmopolitan, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, lots of you getting involved. I've got to move on because I have got your last kit of the day. I can't believe how quickly time flies in the jewelry maker studio. You know what? I, 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 it's, it is. It is. It's, it, listen, I haven't even drunk my tea. <laughs> Linda Brumwell made me a brew. Mmm. Ah, oh, there she is. There she is. And there's Hannah. <gasps> uh oh. <laughs> Hannah. Did you hear my hell of a deal? She's laughing. Uh, she's shaking her head. Anyway. Should we do an L another L of a D? I just don't care. It's my last kit of the morning and it is coming your way. It's big, it's bold, it's beautiful, it's colourful, it's cheerful. And you should see the amazing pieces that lovely Sarah has created. Let's have a wonder. Can I take my tea? Can I? Gosh, you know. Oh, that's good. I can drink tea in Jewelry Maker yeah. as well. It's nice, that. Um, okay. Now, we brought earlier all those colours in, in the threads. Yes. The bobbins. That's the Kumahimo right. disc. Yes. All we need is this kit now, yeah? Yes, that's it. And, and we're good to go. Good to go. So you could, um, you know, so this piece in the middle here is, is the Kumahimo piece. That's done. This is? Yeah. Hang on a minute, you've kumihimoed with gemstones? Yes. And wire? And uh, beading thread. Beading thread, I beg your yes. pardon. Look at that for colour. 
Oh, it's, it's like sweeties. It is, it is. It's like, it is. It's just, I love it. I um, it goes amazing with the last bundle as well. Yes. There's the image of that bundle I bought you. There's a the disc, there's the bobbins and everything. You've got that color combination. And I mentioned earlier on the show, probably about a couple of hours ago, just how prominent that mm. this color pop, this color clashes in, the, in fashion. Um, and don't you think that's lovely? Because I'm, as she says, wearing pretty much black. <laughs> um, pretty much black. Uh, but when you go into the shops now, it's, it's color. Yes. You are actually seeing color there. There is. And there's a lot of sort of almost sort of base colours that you can put lots of different colours on top of. are very, yes. very trendy as well, aren't yes. they, at the moment? But, but that's the thing, you could put these colours on top of that, you couldn't could. you? Yes. Um, okay, so uh, we've brought you incredible bundles and, you, and sh look, Sarah's actually created an amazing sort of beading thread piece there as well. Let's show you. Now, how many packs are in here? I think there's ten? ten. Yeah, ten packs of beading thread. Uh, you've got your wonderful emerald green, then you've got midnight black, silver, red, uh, gold, then a, a sort of bronze, purple, white, and two tones of blue. So you get ten different spools of your beading thread. Um, and uh, what length are they? Let's have a little look. Du -du 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 -du. Beading wire, sorry. Uh, 10 meters, 10 meters on each spool. Uh, then, of course, you've got your findings pack. Yeah. So you've used your finding packs, even though that you have kumihi mode. Yes, yes, because you know you can use it for the back of the neckline piece. You can use it for you know your earring findings. And, all and in your findings pack, you've got 115 pieces. This is the sterling plate, silver plated copper. So you've got your chain in there. We were talking. How many times have we mentioned chain throughout the course of the I morning? Know. It's, it's an essential to me to have. In fact, chain is probably the one thing that I use up the most of. I use my earring findings and my head pins and then chain. Yeah. And those are the sort of things that you use so much of. Well, they always sell out, don't they? Whenever we bring chain on a, on a yeah. reel, they always, always sell out. But then look at this. Um, do you know... Uh, are they just... They're just so how much, cheerful. So don't you think this fun. says a lot about your personality if you're wearing gemstones like this? It says a lot that it says, I'm a bit of fun. It also says, I don't mind what you think, you know, I don't mind, you know, I'm out there, I'm just sort of quite happy to be me. Yeah, and everybody should be. Hmm. Do you know, I only mentioned yesterday, life uh, life is, is, it can be complex and hard enough without, 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 without um, other things, allow, we allow also other things to make it, we, we allow yeah. things to make it more difficult, that's what I mean. We get hooked up on Take things. Take things too seriously, mm. don't we? Yeah. Um, and I understand, sometimes people might shy away from wearing clothes like this in colours, but then don't shy away from it in your jewellery. Well, that's that's when you can wear it. I mean, okay, uh, look at those, and you've got the different sort of dimensions. Yes. Yes. So you don't even have to wear all of it, Sarah, do you? Gosh, no. I mean, you could, you could separate it out. So, I mean, in some of the pieces, I've separated out more of the pinks and purples and orange tones. That they're what, sort of three pieces at the far side. And more sort of separated out um, into the colour tones. And then the other ones I've just gone for. I did actually start by separating them all out into their colour tones. <laughs> did you? And then decided to mix them back up again? And then I had to put them all back in the beading tray and mix them all up again. Yeah, <laughs> I, d I don't blame. Um, and you've got a real flora and fauna inspiration on that beading wire piece as yeah. well, which yeah. is um, just, you know, again, it's a, it's it's a, a dragonfly. Yeah, it's a little, little bit, you know. Fun. I love having fun with my jewellery. Now, shall we bring you your L of a deal, as promised? Mm -hmm. It's my last kit of the day, or our last kit of the day. So, uh, shall, shall we do a, a Sarah and L? L of a deal. Wow, seventeen ninety five. That's amazing. But that's not my L of a deal price though. <laughs> uh, are we meant to do kits at fifteen pounds? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. How big are my shoulders? How big are they? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. They are pretty big. <laughs> uh, there we go. At fifteen pounds only. Uh, we're not meant to do that. No, we're not. <laughs> but anyway, it doesn't matter. We just don't care. We, I love those colours. Uh, I, it's a gr an essential for stash, surely. It is. It's you know. I I, I love these colours. I just have them for summer. You know. You can imagine making just a few pieces out of this kit, and you would be able to just pop those in your suitcase, and they'd be ready to go. Well, you don't have to. I mean, people think, oh my gosh, that's really bold. If you don't like um, huge amounts of colour, mm -hmm. what you're going to think about is the purples with amethysts. Maybe yeah. subtle, tone it down. Yeah. The yellows use a citrine. Tone it down. It doesn't have to be used all together. No, that's uh, it. It doesn't have to be. They can be sort of as as maybe a lift for other gemstones. That's it. I mean, you could be you. Know, 
you could turn them all out and use just your pinks and your reds together and then I'd be looking at using maybe my greens and my yellows together mm -hmm. and I'd be using then um, thinking of you know you can use well, I don't know maybe the, the, the reds and the oranges and go for that sort of clash of colour pop again you know so you can I like it, it like that you can separate it all out I did as I say I did separate it all out and they all came into distinct colour palettes so I had I think it was seven different colours and they were all separated out to start off with and as I say I quite fancied putting them all back together again because it's just different yeah. I like the fun uh, I'm, I'm in a fun kind of mood, so I, th I, I think like this. Yeah. Uh, so what piece are you actually going to demonstrate going to do for the us? bracelet. The bracelet? Yes. Now this, again, you, uh, whenever I see your design set, uh, I think, oh my word, I'd never be able to do that. No, you can. Never. Just a handful of feet of jewelry makers getting involved because this is hugely popular with your Ella deal price. <laughs> it was meant to be higher, by the way, so I'll own that one. Where's my, where's my paddle? <laughs> I own that one. Um, okay, right, this looks complex. It's not. You break it down, it's not complex at all. I did use the smaller gemstones, but I've just got the bigger ones so that you can see them on the camera. So it's exactly the same. Um, so what I've done is I've taken a piece of my beading thread, and onto there I've added th three of my gemstones, mm -hmm. and I've crossed between a fourth. And if I pull that up, that will give me my first diamond. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then what I've done is added on to either side another gemstone. And because I'm using that green one in the centre as my, thir my first gemstone, so that's three, and then I'm going to cross through a fourth one. And that's going to give me my second diamond. And so if I'm going to do the bracelet, I'm going to do four diamonds on top of each other. And I'm making a slightly smaller version for, for the demo purposes. Okay. Okay. Um, and so what we're going to do is change this one, which has now got my fourth, my third diamond coming in. But what I'm doing is I'm not crossing through the top bead, I'm gonna cross through the right hand side bead. So what I've done is I've put two on that side and I'm crossing through the one that's on the right hand side. And I'm just gonna pull that up. And if you see what's happened is I've now turned the corner by doing that. And so instead of my thread coming out the top here, yeah. I'm coming out the side. And what that's going to allow me to do is to add on and turn the corner, so I'm going to add on my gemstones, I should have taken those off, sorry, and I'm going to add on and create another diamond, but this time instead of going upwards, I'm going outwards. So I'm going to add one, two, three, and I'm going to cross with the one that's coming out from in the inside of that diamond. So I'm going to cross it over and pull that up like so and that has given me another diamond on the side can you see so it's brought the diamond on the side so now I've got one cord coming out to the front and one cord coming into the center what I'm going to do with this cord is I'm going to take it through this next bead this pink one and that's going to start the next diamond so if I hold that and just pull it up for you can you see I'm using these two beads here to be part okay. of my next diamond. Right. I'm going to add two beads on. So I've got two already, so I'm going to only add two on. And so at this point you can never see the holes in the in the gemstones in the studio. You're like, oh. There we go. oh live television, I'll tell you what, you can never do it, can you, when uh, when, when <laughs> you're under pressure, aren't you? Well that's it, because you've got to keep your head out the way. Yes, I know, I know, I <laughs> know. I know, I know what you mean. When I have to put some, maybe yeah. a, a chain on something, it's always like, oh, mm. why are my eyes not working? So I've added the two beads on and I'm crossing through the second one that I added on. And that's brought my next diamond in. I'm going to carry on, I'm going to go through the next bead here to bring that out to join that up. Oop. There we go. And I'm going to carry on doing that so you can see that I'm ready to do my next diamond that way. And then I'm going to do one further out and then I'm going to carry on go across the back until we get to this point. Oh, look. Okay, so this is like almost got the last little bit done. So I've gone down, I've returned, come back down this way. Sorry, I've gone. And then come down that way. Now, you've used for demonstration the bigger pearls. The bigger beads. Yes, yes I know. Oh, sorry, beads, sorry. Yes. Um, you've got the bigger ones there just for demonstration it's purpose. Purely but you for can, yeah, yeah. I mean, you could make this into a neckline piece. So this could be a pendant. Oh, it could match, yeah. Yeah, yeah so you can make a pendant. So to finish off, I'm on my last row of beads. So I'm just going to pull that together. And then what I did to make the bracelet sit properly is I went through the bead that's to the right, this red one here. 
took the end of my beading thread through the back through that one like very that. popular this kit uh with your of a deal look 50 uh, um, um an illegal price point look I at know. all the names i know they're going off the screen uh we were multi-buying as well how many have we got left dion We've still got some available, uh, but, th but that quantity is getting more limited now every single second that goes past. And like I said, you don't have to use all these colours together. I know we have, or Sarah has more. Uh, more, more actually, that's, that's <laughs> not... not I just did a royal we, didn't I? <laughs> you did. Uh, there was okay. no we in it at all, because I've, I'm not... I'm not Okay. Clever, clever like this so. uh, but yeah you don't have to wear them all together so no. you've basically threaded them through and you've got those two strands either side so yes and I've just added another piece of beading thread on the opposite side and gone through the two opposite beads okay. these are the ones I actually threaded with on this yeah. side and this is just a spare piece of beading thread I've just added Cool. and then all you're going to do is just add your beads as you want to to go around the uh, bracelet so I will just add for instance a couple more on one on each side for instance like this one and two Oop. and I'm just going to borrow one from one of these previous ones <laughs> and go through take both strands through that sec that other bead and that will start to bring that together for you so you can see if I pull that together how I brought those four beads together yes. now and I went to a single bead now going over the two strands do you know what? That's just that's just making me think you're going to go. What on earth are you on about, Elle? It looks like a fish. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you can make it look like a little fish. fish? Oh, look, there's his little lips. Yeah. Maybe thread an eye in there. If you did this and do the tail. If you did it with um, a 0.25 or a 0.4 wire, then you'd be able to just uh, wire his little tail in and finish him off. Yeah, I love that. I'd want to suspend it like a mobile above a cot. What? Yeah, good. I know. I, I, I know. I've got sort of babies on the brain because my friends haven't. I'm really excited. Anyway, <laughs> um, not me, my best friend. Now, Wall of Fame coming your way. Your amazing, amazing <laughs> pieces. Keep on dialing through for that. Well done to every single one of you. Now, after your Wall of Fame, I have got three huge, huge strands to bring you. Uh, big opportunities, and of course, exceptionally beautiful. But right now, it's for your incredible beauties. <laughs> Hello everybody, ah oh, there we go, uh, your wall of fame. Now we've got a quick text and that's from, is that Alicia in Derbyshire? Uh, hello fab team, uh, sorry excuse me if you're leaning forward, my eyes aren't the best, I can't read these. Uh, I tend to think of, sorry, we tend to think of magnesite as one of the lesser expensive gemstones, but I see, I, I, what's that, saw it in a necklace selling for 60 pounds on another channel. It's, yeah, exactly. It goes back to what I was saying earlier on, that I have to pinch myself and, and remind myself not to get complacent. I do all the time. Because these gemstones are, and do you know what, I was actually watching a former employee who, works with, who worked with us, not here uh, on Jewelry Maker, it was on a different channel, who's gone on to another place, and I, I'm not, I can't mention the name obviously, they were selling a man-made gemstone, it's not even, it, 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 it's not even um, uh, Mother Nature selling it, and can I just say it was in hundreds of pounds, it, it's basically glass hundreds of pounds and I just thought what yep. I mean seriously we could we, they can create that for literally a fiver probably less than that even less than that and they're selling for hundreds of pounds anyway 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 enough of that I got I, I, you, you set me off on one I'll get on my on my high <laughs> horse and everything oh, rah, 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 rah. Uh, right number four uh, this comes from Sarah Hastings in Nottingham and she says hi all at JM please find attach my entry to the wall of fame a choker and matching earrings made with yellow opal nuggets oh my word adore yellow opal um, one millimeter gold plated uh, copper wire and findings all from jewelry maker and colored uh, gold colored spacer beads from my stash I thought the gold plated wire really complemented the amber tones of the opal creating a simple but classic look I hope you like it good luck to everyone in the draw always keeping my fingers crossed for a win and that's Sarah Hastings in Nottingham Sarah it is beautiful and I agree with you it's the it's the it's the yellow stroke sort of amberish tones which is so appealing it with is. it it's, it's, it's almost 
almost like a it's so warm and the earrings as well yeah, they're gonna look amazing so well done good luck to you my lovely I've got number three and this is um i'm just trying to see it's from margaret she says uh dear all a jewelry maker i've made this lovely aquamarine necklace and earrings for my friend's birthday i love the stone and i think i need to get another strand of aquamarine rounds it will look lovely in the summer and look so delicate i have gizmoed the nugget on 0.6 wire and use 0.8 wire um, to wire it together all the components are from JM, and I would like to say that whenever I watch the shows, they are so enjoyable and informative. Good luck to everyone on the Wall of Fame, and let's hope a prize is winging its way down here. And that's from Margaret Putland. Oh, good luck to you, Margaret, and that's beautiful. Really lovely, lovely. Again, matching earrings, and yeah. why not? That's you. Know, you can, you can. The world is your uh, is your oyster. Now, uh, love this number five, and I'm running out of time, so I need to be quick. Uh, hi to everyone at Jewelry Maker. Uh, here is my entry to the wall of fame uh, a necklace made from lapis lazuli and citrine all from jewelry maker good luck to everybody on this week's draw and that's christine in ipswich christine amazing and by the way lapis lazuli and gemstone again fetching huge premiums per mm. carat weight for if it's natural Definitely. i've got number two here and this is from hazel moore in west wales uh hello to the jewelry maker family it attaches my entry for the wall of fame having watched alice and tarry demonstrate the basket making i thought i'd have a go with the idea i had in my head for some time uh, um, I didn't know how to do the baskets until Alison showed us um and she says, having made the baskets and having fun experimenting with different shapes, I used chips and gemstones on a tiara twist stems to create the flowers and glued them into the baskets. Everything purchased from Jewelry Maker, of course. I photographed them with the small storage towers to show you the dimensions. Keep, um, please keep presenting us with your excellent products and demos. Love to all. And that's from Hazel Moore. Ah, oh, lovely Hazel. Really, really lovely. Great for Easter as well, yeah. which is around the corner, Beautiful. isn't it? Great for Easter. Uh, last but by no means least is number six. And I love this. It reminds me of sort of little hobbits, and it comes from uh, Tanya Mahoon in Birmingham, in Birmingham. And she says, "Hi to all. Uh, here is uh, this week's make, not jewelry, but it is made with polymer clay from Jewelry Maker. Um, for the piece around the door, I add, add a glitter to translucent clay. You can't go wrong with glitter and polymer clay. My friend was telling me how much of a pain it was to sneak in her son's room to help the tooth fairy. Oh, I see, it's the little tooth fairy. Love that." Um, so so I thought I forward plan and make something where my girls can place their teeth to make it easier for the tooth fairy. I hope you like it. That's brilliant. Um, uh, I would love a win as my Colin McClay stash is starting to dwindle. Uh, loving the shows and all of the designers' jewelries. Keep up the good work. Uh, good luck to all who enter. And like I said, that's Tanya Mahoon in Birmingham. So I love that, Tanya. Really, really amazing. Now, I am running out of time. But after the, after, uh, the break, I have got your amazing pearls. And I've got back to back opportunities you do not want to miss out it's our last hour with you this morning before we hand over to your mid show your designer inspiration these are coming up straight away after this Today's course has been really good. I've been on the micro macrame course with Deb Rudge, um, and we've been doing quite a lot of knotting techniques um, and bringing them together to make um, a little small owl. And then we're currently working on a uh, free form necklace or bracelet, which is really good because there's no rules. It's been a really, really good day. Um, you get an awful lot from it just in terms of being able to use your own imagination to transfer it into the piece that you're making and it's, it's just been a really good day, yeah. We here at Jewelry Maker know how popular our 10 strand mystery packs have been, so we're bringing them back. You can get your hands on these completely random lucky dips for just £25. This works out to just £2.50 per strand, but be warned, it's while stocks last. Add this to your order and you won't be disappointed. Just ask for this code whilst on the phone to our call centre on 0800 644 655 or simply type the code into our website and add to your basket. Jewelry Maker, giving you the best deals on genuine gemstones.
want to tell everyone about the great purchase you've made from Jewelry Maker? Do you want to shout about the great service you've received? Then why not download the Jewelry Maker's Viewer's Voice app available for iPhone or Android and record a video that could be played on Jewelry Maker. Simply search Jewelry Maker Viewer's Voice in the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store and download our Viewer's Voice app straight to your phone or tablet. You can record as many videos as you like and send them straight to us here at Jewelry Maker. All you have to do is then carry on watching us as usual and wait for your video to be played. Download the JM Viewers Voice app and you could be the next face we see here on Jewelry Maker. We really appreciate your support here at Jewelry Maker, so we'd like to give you something back every time you refer a friend to us. Once your friend's order is delivered, you'll both be rewarded with a free £10 credit to each of your accounts. Simply log on to your account or ask our call centre team to find your refer a friend code, give it to your friend and have them type it into the refer box when they sign up online. Alternatively, give the code to our friendly call centre team and they'll do the rest. So come and bring your friends into the fabulous world of jewellery making. Jewellery Maker, share your passion. The latest edition of the Lure Book is now available. This highly regarded gemstone encyclopedia features over 1,300 pages full of facts and knowledge. Discover the places, the people and the stories behind every gemstone. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Three big back-to-back -back opportunities for you coming your way and all uh, incredible, incredible quality, all of an, an amazing jewelry maker price. Now, um, I'm going to start with your pearls. Then I have got two bonus strands that I haven't showed you at all. I've deliberately been keeping them secret. Uh, they are w basically because we, I know, we know that we will be inundated with messages and forgive us for that, but basically we haven't been able to bring it to you up until this now, so, up until this point in this hour. So new is this, uh, are both those strands, but not yet. I need to focus on your freshwater culture pearls, your, your top drilled beaver, that wonderful texture or wonderful sort of organic movement that you're seeing behind always 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 one of our most popular strands that we bring you here at jewelry maker and also on our sister channels do you know what? i just need to share with you a bit of uh, I, I i have i'm lucky enough to have so like i said earlier contacts in different locations around the world and customers that shop with me regularly on different channels and jewelry maker as well around the world and the price of pearls in particular um it, 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 in particular is skyrocketing not just here in the uk but globally absolutely absolutely globally and when you look at your bee work at pearls you do think straight away of sort of your 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 um i, I guess Caribbean islands etc like that because they have got that really organic uh, beautiful feel or everyone pretty much is multi buying I've got people buying fives twos threes um, how many have I got available of these in the vault sorry 200 okay uh, so I would encourage you being on the phone line sooner rather than later and by the way the strand that I'm bringing you next is deliberate it is deliberate to go along with this I'm still not going to tell you what it is because it is a surprise it is a big 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 surprise but deliberate that I bring you the next strand to go with these so just think about those sort of Hollywood holiday destinations think about that that beautiful captivating glow and that's the thing the Sun or, or, or even sort of when you're living in here in the UK we don't get so much sunlight do we but we do get daylight, that wonderful, uh, almost adventure essence that you're seeing across the surface of your pearl, those um, almost like oil-like surface. You're getting those, can you see those greens? Can you see those wonderful pinks and blues? That's what you see with Biwa pearls. If these were perfectly spherical, you have what we call an orient, which is like a reflection wonderful but that orient is, is is almost added to with texture when you get be so designed and of course everybody knows that these are genuine the real real deal not synthetic not man-made not created not plastic um look at the quantity i had over 200 of these already I, oh gosh i uh, probably i would say 50 60 percent of you are all multi-buying um well done to every single one of you well done now 
three back-to-back -back star, uh, star buy opportunities. The next strand is deliberate to be going with this strand, so just trust me on that. Let's introduce your price point, considering that I'm going to assume that you're going to want to get both. $9.95. For all of those B Wicked Pearls, they are certainly some of the biggest that I have seen. You don't need to put them all into any one design. No wonder loads of you are multi buying. Do they always sell out every time you bring your B Wicked Pearls to your, your jewelry maker? Always, 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 uh, especially when you've got this wonderful crisp, uh, crisp white color. It's textural. It's fabulous for your sort of bridal jewelry. It's fabulous for your Hollywood, uh, holiday destinations. Absolutely. I'm thinking about this now, right? And I said earlier on with my white whack maxi dress, um, maybe this with, with that other strand that I'm, I'm not, still not going to tell you. Um, but look at I mean, this would be wonderfully gem heavy. A pair of sandals. Look how fabulous this would be. Just breathtaking. I, Beaver pearls are actually my favorite pearls. They're just so easy to wear. They're so... Well, you can create structure with them as well, can't you? you really can. create structure because they have got that, that sort of shape and the flatness yeah. to them as well. Look at the quantity, by the way. Already down to the last 25%. Uh, Janet's bought two. Marge has bought two. Uh, let me see now. Uh, Jane's bought two. Jill's bought two. Linda's bought two. Moira's bought two. I've got people buying fives. Uh, Frankie's bought two. Uh, uh, Jenny, uh, I've seen you there. Tina's multi-buying. Georgina. Dorothy. I can't keep up with all the names, everybody, but congratulations to every single one of you I had 200 look at the look how quickly that quantity has gone okay um, is, 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 is it gonna be an on-screen sellout more than likely well maybe now is the time for me to actually show you the next strand which is coming up I'm still keeping the graphics on your screen right now but if you are hesitating this is what is going to make you think okay yes Eleanor you're absolutely right I need to get involved um, I hope you think I'm right anyway it is a deliberate um, we've got we've got beautiful turquoise how perfect are those gemstones together I've got a text message did you say Oh, sorry, beg your pardon. Less quantity of the turquoise, which is coming up straight after this. Straight after this. That's that's the deliberate. The deliberate um, insert really, really works. Bewa pearls, and then those those sort of organic um, organic turquoise shapes that you are seeing here. Perfect quality turquoise as well. Um, down to 15 in a matter of seconds. I mean, it was it was it was always going to be look beautiful with that tanzanite strand. That was a sellout. Sorry, it wasn't as. I, I'm sorry to tease you with it if you've just tuned in. Uh, this wasn't on-screen sellout let's move on though because it is now time for your your amazing turquoise so well done to every single one of you that was uh, that was successful in that okay turquoise is a gemstone which for hundreds of years we have always 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 adored it is also um, a gemstone which can, can fetch huge, hugely considered premiums, especially when you've got this wonderful, wonderful colour. Now, there are different locations on the planet. For example, uh, American turquoise, which is called Sleeping Beauty turquoise, which is mined in the, in the mountains of Arizona. It's called Sleeping Beauty because the mountainous ra uh, range actually sort of follows the formation of Sleep Sleeping Beauty, for example. But it is, it is, it is sourced from, and this is American turquoise. I don't know if it's from Arizona, but if it is, wow. Wow, that makes a big difference um, so this is American turquoise Wow this is American turquoise do you know and I don't know for certain if it's from the state of Oregon uh, sorry Arizona but um, do you know that our sleeping beauty turquoise from Arizona is not being mined anymore do you know that turquoise is one of those surface gemstones and what it means is, basically, not a surface gemstone, but you don't go to huge depths. Don't go to huge depths, and basically, it doesn't gradually stop. It just basically stops turquoise. So you can't actually predict how many years of mining you've got remaining. But American turquoise in Arizona, um, there are rumors that the production has stopped altogether. So unfortunately, if that's it, that's it. There's no point digging deeper, trying to find more. That's it, because it is one of those gemstones which is quite shallow mined. More to the point, this is natural. It's not reconstituted, it's not dyed. Natural colour. How many have I got of these? A hundred and twelve. That is all I have. Now, the fact that 
we, you, you can get turquoise, which is reconstituted, still desirable, still value. Absolutely. Absolutely. Basically, that's sort of a bit like shell pearls, where they sort of crush it down, reconstitute it to bring you that one sort of more spherical gemstone. Uh, this is the real deal. Beautiful, beautiful examples. I mean, look at the quality of those colours. Wonderful, wonderful. Totally natural. It's not enhanced or dyed in any way, shape, or form. I did not, I was, even though I mentioned Arizona and the fact that Sleeping Beauty and there's different locations as well, whenever I bring it on our sister channels, it always sells out. Um, literally, I've brought, uh, before I even bring prices in, more often than not, this could well be the case as well. Uh, but American, um, Arizona, Sleeping Beauty, there are rumours. We haven't had it 100% confirmed right now, but there's, usually there's no smoke without fire. Um, that, that the Sleeping Beauty turquoise, that's it. And Sleeping Beauty turquoise, why it's so desired globally is because it has got that wonderful natural colour, like what you're seeing on your screen right now, and a minimal matrix, which is those sort of uh, uh, black webbing surfaces across the, uh, and you can see that pure, pure blue. One of the purest, purest blues of your, of your, um, um, Turquoise here. Adore this with your Biwa pearls. You've simply at, at 9.95. I brought you the Biwa pearls. Again, lots of you getting involved. I haven't even scratched the surface. Uh, what's that one word? Perfect. Absolutely, Denise. One word. Uh, that's all that's needed, isn't it? Natural turquoise. Potentially, and I can't confirm this for certain. It is from America. I can t say that potentially no longer being mined. So let's bring in that price tag because it is going to be again an on-screen sellout. What? Can I just put this into perspective? Um, before Christmas, I did a showcase, and it was from American uh, turquoise and Tibetan turquoise. That was it. I was looking for the location. And every single piece that I brought on our sister channel, they were literally less than 10. Less than 10 of every single piece. It was last in stock, and it was right, you need to be on the phone, and straight away, dunk gone, dunk gone, dunk gone. Um, because, and, and, and even speaking to our, uh, my, some of my customers in Arizona, they say, Eleanor, I, I can't get American turquoise at the prices that you'll bring it to us. And that was on our, our US channel. Um, same applies here, folks. Mm -hmm. Turquoise, you pay huge premiums for, especially when it's natural. So, I mean, you know, if you can see, if you find turquoise in the high street, it's just out there with the prices of the jewellery made Three for Three figures. It. Oh, and the rest. Yeah. Yeah, really, completely out. You yeah, know, yeah, just, yeah. And it's just amazing the fact that you can actually make your own pieces of jewellery in designs you want with a natural turquoise. And, of course, your precious metals, it's got to be. It has got to be with turquoise. But, um, and, uh, listen, like I said, you, you can have a little look on the, on the web. American turquoise is, there are rumours, it's no... And, and, by the way, Tiffany's & Co. were mining in America. And we're mining in America, um, in Arizona. Why? Well, look at the colour. Look at the colour. Have you seen the Tiffany's & Co. branding? Uh, that's why they were mining uh, turquoise in that location. It is, and it is available in different locations around the world because it has got that wonderful, pure, almost Tiffany blue. And I, do, I object to that because it's not. It's turquoise blue. Um, it, you know, just because that, that, that's a company. That's a brand. Uh, but that, you can see why they did. Um, I will sell out of these. If you've got it in your basket, in fact, I've got probably multitudes of you with it in your basket that think you've been successful. There were only 100 12 of these available I'm already down to 26 opportunities I've still got another surprise strand to bring you another surprise strand um, you can get natural American per, uh, um, turquoise and your Biwa pearls and we haven't even broken through 25 pounds how amazing is that? And again, small sections, that's all you need to use, quite literally. Turquoise is one of the most recognized gemstones, even if you're, you're, you're not a jewelry maker, even if you're not a gemstone collector um, or a jeweler, you, you know it, don't you? But it's key for me to mention, make sure you do buy it from, from a rec reputable trader. What I mean by that is, Unfortunately, there are some unethical um, um, traders and jewellers out there which will say it's turquoise and actually it's dyed howlite, uh, which does look very similar because it has almost got a matrix across it as well. Um, this is, of course, where you can get your certificate of authenticity. Country of origin is the USA, uh, which is hugely exciting, totally natural as well, not enhanced, not dyed. You can see that pure colour, which is so famed with Sleeping Beauty. I've got less than 20 remaining now, and more than, more than that with, of you. Um, I've got it on you in your basket and most of you are actually multi-buying 
I don't blame you. Uh, turquoise is a gemstone. We can bring you re reconstituted probably more frequently, not every single day, which is basically a bit like shell pearls, pearls where it's, it is genuine gemstones, but it's ground down, uh, ground down and then sort of uh, reformed. Um, but this is natural. It's not dyed. You can see, I mean, look at those wonderful colors. Let me hold this out for you. Look at those wonderful pure blue, blue colors. And I like the fact you have actually got their matrixes in, in included in some. But let me just show you this piece here. Look at that. Pure, pure turquoise. And by the way, that's, I mean, look at those greens right here. It's not, I'm not just talking one, one standout piece here. It's all the way throughout the strand. $14.95. The textures, the beauty, it's wonderfully organic. It's going to be an on-screen sellout. There are 112 of these. It was always going to be the case when we're talking about turquoise. Um, there may still be a couple of the Bewa pills. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, B was sold out, has it? Right, already gone. It's already out of there. This will be exactly the same. Um, so well, well done. Nine remaining opportunities. Tarina, Peter, Irene, Gemma, Bernadette, hello. Um, loads of you haven't checked out. Loads of you haven't checked out, and um, more of you have got it in your, in your basket than I have. Eleanor in, in, in is that Spain? In France, beg your pardon. Sandra, two Sandras. Sandra in Suffolk, Sandra in Devon, St uh, Stella's there in Berkshire, uh, Nian, uh, West Yorkshire, Marge, Karen, West Midlands, Surrey, Deborah, Rose, Rosamond, Isabel, Jane, and Buckinghamshire. Um, if it's in your basket right now, it's it's literally probably 30%. Uh, sorry, uh, literally, yeah, there's the, I could sell, there's about 35 of you with it in your basket, and I've got eight pieces. That's it. Okay. Now, are you ready for my last surprise? I consider this gemstone to be certainly the most seductive of gemstones. Is it too early in the day to start talking about seduction? Never too early. Not when it comes to gemstones. Gemstones are seductive. They are. They, they really draw you in. They want, they want to catch your attention. They want you to... That's yeah. what gemstones is all about. Yeah. Absolutely. And do you know what? Um, I, there was a, a, a saying I was I, I, I was read uh, the other day, and it was Oscar de la Renta, who is an amazing fashion designer, and he's all about embracing a woman's feminine charms, essentially. And he wasn't necessarily talking about his fashion, and he wasn't necessarily talking about jewellery, but he actually said... Uh, ladies, walk like you have three men walking behind you. And I love that. I absolutely, I was like, you know what, yeah. That's totally, totally right. You've got to walk like you've got three men walking behind you. So there we go, head high. Uh, head high, etc. And maybe a little bit of a wiggle on. Uh, <laughs> the reason why I'm mentioning all this is, and you might be thinking, what on earth are you getting to? This is one of the most, no, sorry, it is the most seductive of gemstones. It has got that pure rich dramatic striking black but then it has got um a luster like you wouldn't see in in other black gemstones you might be thinking well hang on a minute there's jet eleanor there's onyx yes and there's black diamonds black diamonds actually has got almost a metallic sheen across the surface of it jet and onyx yeah you are going to see that sort of rich pure color but black spinel i mean we're talking really rare it's the difference between your apparent rarity and your actual rarity you've got that density that hardness which means that you can get strong definition edges here which will really capture with the light watch the sparkle off this strand it is it is a premier oh my goodness that's what i'm talking about the difference between what for what for me sets black sp spinel aside from all your other black gemstones and I'm even talking black diamonds here I am I actually prefer black spinel over black diamonds because it's got that that pure uh, pure opaque color and the density and hardness that means that um, when you take it and, you're and it's faceted to perfection like these you can really really captivate and play with the light then let me just show you these are imagine as you would draw sort of the shape of a diamond table crown there's your girdle, there's your pavilion to the coulee, yeah? So imagine as you would draw a diamond shape, yeah? Look at the shape of these. That's what these have been faceted to. They are your little diamond shape, your little solitaires. They are ready to be made into solitaire rings, aren't they? They are, can you see? Can you see that? You could do stud earrings straight away with these. And you are getting 
a whole amount of these on this one strand. Now, ever so slightly graduated, which is a good thing, because again, you can make that wonderful sort of waterfall effect. The most, and this is a gemstone which Angelina Jolie, how beautiful is she? I personally think she's one of the most beautiful women, uh, women on the world. She wore black spinel in rose gold uh, on the red carpet, as has Sandra Bullock, as has Miley Cyrus, as has um, uh, uh, Taylor Swift. So many, uh, our very own Kate Winslet, so many celebrities have been seen choosing, wearing black spinel, not black diamonds, wearing black spinel because it has that really dramatic, seductive, beautiful, striking appeal. It is the ultimate midnight gemstone. It's that density which lends itself to just, you know, facet me properly and I will really, really, really come into my own. Maybe accent it with, um, I don't know, I, I'd want to maybe include some really, really high end faceted quartz. And, and or maybe some zircon that would be incredible to really bring and lift it forward totally and utterly natural this is not an enhanced gemstone and again reason why i'm bringing this to you and reason why i didn't tell you because um uh, what i had coming up because look at those together look how wonderfully they actually matched your bewa pearls and your black spinel again it's it was how many have we got available of these 119 that's how many I started with rather. I haven't got that now. I've again got lots of you multi-buying on this. To have that uniqueness of cut, and it is, like I said, it, 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 it is what we, um, that wonderful diamond shape. So you could, I mean, you could have pendants straight away, have them in a drop, have them pointed vertically, uh, have create waterfall rings. Black spinel, um, whenever, we're, we're very blessed at the moment currently to have some really exciting carrot weights. But every time it is actually featured, it always, always sells out. There's a very, uh, a very well-known designer on Rodale Drive called Lorraine Schwartz. And she is uh, the, the, the Hollywood go-to jeweler um, for, for, for black spinel ultimately um, do research her have a little look at her design black spinel you also find in Tiffany's and Co you've certainly found it in Gucci you'll find it in in pretty much all the big jewelry houses I was looking at one of those and I can't say the name but one of those jewelry designs and it was in sterling silver and it was hundreds of pounds hundreds of pounds yes it was top quality yes it was faceted to perfection yes you could see all that surface luster you could see that like they were encrusted with diamonds almost like the spinel had diamonds encrusted look at the quantity falling here folks like I said it was always going to be let's introduce your price tag because already already um wow okay so hang on 40 pounds and you have got three of the most exciting strands that i have brought you ever look at those look i mean that's sold out i'm awfully sorry as has the uh, turquoise is that sold out it turquoise sold out look at the amount of work look at the intricacy in terms of faceting and this is what we call a briolette cut briolette cut was which has been around since the victorian era um it's it's, it's about a 360 degree overall beauty so it's not just about looking sort of face value it's it, it, it it's not just looking sort of ha having beauty when you look at someone face on it's it's all the way around whether you're from and standing behind i don't know maybe a little, a little bit short a little bit high you can see all of that that intricacy and beauty Very very complex, very complex for any lapidus to actually embark on it is a, is a briolette cut. And you are getting it. I can't even count these gemstones. Shall I try? Shall I try? Um, shall I count a section? No, I can, I can do it. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 53 briolette faceted black spinels. That's 25 pairs of earrings. Oh, no, no, it's 26 pairs of earrings. Uh, that's 28 pence per black spinel. For black spinel, how much would you sell a pair of black spinel earrings? I mean, surely it's got to be the 15, 20 pounds. Definitely heading that way because they're just so beautiful. No, it should be. Should it be. really should yeah. be. This is a natural gemstone. There's nothing I 
just love about Black Spinel is everything you've said about it being just that it's like like someone's lit it up from inside yeah. almost because it's just it fires off in every angle you know when you get those press reports and all the flashes are going off from the cameras yeah that's what this does yeah, to totally. me it's like, it's like it's encrusted with diamonds it's yeah. got that paparazzi flash but to, 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 again if, 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 if you're thinking yeah yeah I agree with Sarah it should be sort of moving up towards your 15 pounds um, if it's in sterling silver it really really should no, be in excess yeah. of that yeah. because black spinel is is, is I, you, I'm used to seeing it in four figures I'm used to seeing it I mean I'm talking outside of these four walls I'm not obviously talking about our, our sister channel um, but it is and it was actually sort of uh, and you can google it google Angelina Jolie black spinel have a look and see the price tag of the piece very similar it was just a classic classic necklace they were round brilliant cuts bezel setting granted rose gold huge it looked she looked amazing she looked absolutely knockout of course and it was this wonderful gemstone that she chose she could have chosen black diamonds couldn't she she could have done no no black spinel and I agree with it I, I favor black spinel over diamonds uh, black diamonds anywhere any day again down to 15 in a matter of minutes in a matter in a matter of minutes uh, so well done to every single one of you maybe incorporate oh my goodness I've just had a thought I, I, I know they've sold out but if you did get the garnet connectors oh yeah definitely definitely or what about I, again I think this sold out but I'll show it what about your specitite oh we still got some specitite Still got Specitite. I can bring the graphics in. It was meant to be $34.95, but then we brought in hell of a deal. Spinels have sold out, by the way. Let's introduce the, uh, introduce your Specitite for you if you've just tuned in. Um, it was more or less half price because I, I basically did a big, uh, big no-no and produced from the floor. <laughs> Seventeen ninety five for your hell of a deal. Oh, I'm so good at that's so gonna stick. I'm totally gonna I'm totally gonna use that. Now I'll keep it to I'll keep it to jewelry maker. Keep it to jewelry maker. Zero eight hundred six triple four six double five. It was thirty four ninety five, but we brought it to you today at uh, seventeen ninety five. Uh, straight away, the phone lines have lit up. Yeah, a few of you have obviously just tuning in. Totally natural specitite. Well done to every single one of you. Now, if you uh, if you if you if you miss this auction, you certainly will have missed my early bird auction as well, which um, talking about our bundles are, are are designed for you to to obviously save lots of money. Yeah, that's what we're all about. Now, we worked out, didn't we, Sarah? Mm -hmm. That without the precision applicator, for just super strong glue, yes, it was about eight pounds. Yeah, you can spend anything up to that. Yeah, about that, for yeah. any glue that will actually work. Yeah, a decent glue. Well, you've yeah. This has got the precision fine for fine detail. The applicator. Yes. Then you've got. Your Kumi Hemo, I couldn't say it then. <laughs> Kumi Hemo, yeah. Your Kumi Hemo accessory pack. And how many's in there? There's three of each, is that right? Yeah, three of each. So different sizes, toggle class as well. Then you've got three spools, 10 meter spools of your satin cord. black, navy and white. But we're still not done. I've got more. And we added up how much you would pay individually, didn't we, Sarah? Yeah. Um, now, and then you've got your wax cord with your grey, your green and also your red. Everything that I have just shown you, $9.95. This was your early bird special. We had every, pretty much everybody was multi-buying, pretty much. Uh, 9 95 for everything that you are seeing here and these are uh, we were talking earlier maybe add the DVD you're good to go aren't you oh that's it you've just you're ready to go you just you know possibly you know you might be thinking actually I don't want to do come here I might just use this for macrame and you can True. use those ends for your macrame Same. as well um, get the macrame DVD if you've not yeah. got it already so you know you've got all of those there and there's the thing is you've got your findings which are going to take you through so many projects then you've got your glue that's going to last 
ages I don't know how long I've been using mine it just seems to go on and on and on and then they've got all of those cords and they're just going to you get so much out of a pack of cords. How many how many um bracelets was we use bracelets so how many bracelets could you make probably I know this is a hard question to answer out of all the out of those six spools? It really depends on what techniques I'm using so for instance you know the, the bracelet you really like the bridally one? Yes love um, that. That one we probably took two meters of cord and you've got ten in one oh, spool yeah so you'd make five so bracelets. you've got ten in one so you could make five bracelets with one of these yes yes that, uh, can we show that bracelet yeah because i love 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 that um yeah so sarah saying that she uh, that you used two meters for this wonderful bracelet look at this um and it's with this satin cord mm -hmm. incorporated some shell pearls yes um and you can actually make five of them out of this one pack here yes Hang on, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. that's 30 bracelets. Yeah, so depending on the technique you choose to use with them, of course the Kumihimo takes more cord because it uses eight cords typically for one braid, um, but for a bracelet you'd need um, probably about, I don't know, maybe about six metres of cord for a Kumihimo bracelet for a bracelet not even that maybe five wow meters. so you're gonna get an awful yeah. lot out of this this this, this uh, early bird special yeah you're gonna get loads loads and loads and loads and I always keep all my little bits of cord left over because I make all my I make braided bracelets out of them so even if I've only got like a foot of cord left over make a little braided bracelet out of that if you are thinking as well <coughs> excuse me if you are thinking Kumihimo never done it before go on to Jewelry Maker website there are tutorials there DVDs are available but I can't DVDs is, uh, the DVD uh, is at the bottom of your screen, four ninety five only. Um, also, very simple wish bracelets. You can use those with wax cords, just one simple solitaire knotted. Um, again, that's a really really easy technique, which is very very popular. Nine ninety five for all of this. I love that bracelet. Now moving on, moving on. Um, oh, have we got a couple of these left? Amazing. I showed this with the pyrite. I thought it had sold out. Now, look at this. Uh, you've got an... Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. You've got an awful lot of gemstones here in 925 Sterling Silver, your wonderful smoky quartz. I wanted to show you, try and show you as much as I possibly could because uh, look at that. And there's more down this side as well. 2195 It's the rosary link with extras on there, basically, isn't it? You can take them off and still have the rosary, rosary link chain, can't you? You could literally take these sort of, can you see those sort of almost accents on either side? Take them off and you've got your rosary link chain. But we were talking about, when we brought this to you, just how labour intensive it is for you jewellery makers to actually make, um, um, what's, the, what's the actual length? 50 centimetres, 50 centimetre length, so that's a long length uh, sort of necklace. You could very easily make um, an eight, well, you could make, you could make a necklace and a, matching, um, and a matching bracelet for that. Very easily, maybe multi-buy, uh, as many of you did. Pure, sumptuous, rich espresso tones. And of course, uh, your sterling silver in between. That's a lot of sterling silver. That's dumb, it's, it's just those, those pieces go on for ages. I made, I've made multiple strand necklaces out of them, put a chain around the back, he's made bracelets, made earrings, and I've still got some left over. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, moving on. Uh, bring you, sorry, some clearance. Can we do an L of a deal? Ooh. I've not seen these before either. No, hang on. Now, I don't know what length these are individually, but I will have a little look. White, green, beautiful blue, uh, and you've got a different shade of blue. I can't, I'm running out of hands, basically, so I'm going to try my very best to show you every single one. I'm running out of hands. I'm running out of colours. Look at these. And you've got your reds, then you've got your fuchsia pinks, then you've got your purples and your browns. So in total, you have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine colours. Nine colours that you're looking at here. They're all uh, one metre in terms of its length, in terms of its width, which I know is important to you, jewelry makers, five millimetres. 
five millimeters. Okay, now could you suit ash with these maybe? Could we suit ash with these? You can put holes in them, but they are you couldn't get a needle through them. But I have sewn put beading thread through them by putting um, holes in them with an awl. Okay, um, so yeah. um, could you kumihima with them? You can kumihima with them, you can do your macrame knots with them, um, you can make lots of little loops and make necklines with them by just by gluing them back on themselves with the precision glue as well, so you can, um, you know, you can make little loops in those and make... Do you know what, I'd just be inclined, I'd be really inclined to, because um, my sister um, actually bought a watch and it was from a Gucci watch and simple face had two holes through it on a leather strap and it was a long strap like this and the idea was it wrapped around her wrist mm -hmm. like so um, that was the idea and then you'd have the watch face by like, like, like you can easily do that with any watch face just literally thread it through I've made beautiful flowers with these as well by just using just going back through on themselves just going back round and making little loops and then actually just gluing them and yeah, actually make lovely little flowers. Yeah, I bet make so that you can actually make the petal shape. But yeah. you know what? I want to. I, I if I you know sometimes your your watch strap needs replacing. You know what I mean? Because they can get a little bit horrible, can't they? After a while, um, especially if you buy the sort of plastic ones. Um, just re-thread it. Look at that. Look how look how contemporary and common that is. It's a little bit hip. Just wear them as bracelets if you wish. Don't have to have this uh, have this amount. Um, I, I can imagine what you're saying, Sarah. When 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 you're talking sort of are you talking flowers sort of created like so? Yes. Like a ribbon. Yes. Almost. Yeah. And, you and I'm sure. I am sure. If I can do it, then anyone can because I am not very good at these kind of things. Okay, let's introduce your price tag while I'm uh, while I'm playing. Twelve ninety five uh, for nine individual colours. Uh, yeah, keep oh, that's rubbish. <laughs> so I'm sure yours will be better than mine. Um, yeah, 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 the laugh says it all, really. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, plat and put a simple clasp. Very eighties. Oh, yes. Yeah. Got to do with the shoulder action. If you mention the eighties. You got it, don't you? Got to have the 80s. Do you know what I've been seeing? These things that, like, um, if, if uh, uh, on Facebook, you sort of um, like if you had these, and it's like the neon socks. <laughs> I had those. Do you have a ra ra A skirt? shell suit. Oh, a ra ra skirt. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, 12.95. Well done to every single one of you. There's multiple uses. You could use them in your home, decorating up your home, of course. Look at that colour combination, got to move on, never seen them before. Uh, well done. Okay, that was 20. Number... Can we do an L of a deal? I love these. Now these are your findings. Oh, and gemstones. There's garnet in this. I've got to take this out of the box because I've not seen these before. I've seen the findings before, but I've not seen it included with, um, with. Oh my goodness! Right, right. Yeah, let's. Right, Dion is just saying, Eleanor, if you'll own it, own this uh, this auction, then so this opportunity, then I can is we can go to this, or, or rather we will go to this. But again, it shouldn't. It really, really shouldn't. Yeah, I don't mind. I've got big shoulders. Uh, look at this. Um, with your with your with your compartments, as you can see there. So you've got sleep. You've got shepherd hooks. You've got your toggle clasp. You've got your bolt rings. You've got your chain. You've got your uh, spacer beads. And look at all these beautiful natural garnets there. Uh, garnet nuggets that you're seeing. Uh, okay, twenty. Uh, you've got twenty of your of your jump rings, fifteen of your beads, uh, four of your your fancy connectors, one large copper to copper toggle T-bar, uh, two pairs of your gold-plated shepherd hooks, your gold-plated S connectors as well, S hook connectors, uh, and one meter of your chain, and of course all of that lovely garnet, really rich and sumptuous Roy uh, regal red. Um, hell of a deal. Okay, yeah, I don't mind owning it. Should we show what it should be? Nine ninety-five. I've just seen Paula Bennett, by the way. But um, uh, anyway, can I do my Brucey stance? 
I don't know why. Bruce, is, is it Bruce the cow? Or Bruce the bu bully? Bully! <laughs> but bully the, bully the bull. I don't even know. Who is one? Who is one? Not 995, it's a... Uh, 695. I don't even know why I'm talking about him. I've got no idea. Uh, but anyway, we've just taken 30% uh, off basically for you. Uh, 0800 655. It was always a speedboat as well, wasn't it? I mean, I, I mean <laughs> a speedboat. I live in the Midlands. <laughs> 6.95. Well done to every single one of you on those phone lines. Yeah, I'll own it. Uh, congratulations to you. That was a, a typical 80s show, wasn't it? Typical 80s show. It was always on a Sunday, wasn't it? Always on on a Sunday, you used to sit down with your family. I say, ah, oh, this is what you could have won. <laughs> Unlucky. Uh, what did you, Patricia, Margaret, John, Joyce? You've got yours. Rachel, Michael, uh, Sylvia. Congratulations. Got to move on. Got to move on. Okay, number twelve. Right. This is. Oh, these are new. Hole making satin chrome. Three point two millimeter. Is that it? Yeah. Now, Sarah, I'm going to need your, your um, knowledge, because I can see what these do. They make holes, right? They do. <laughs> <laughs> Is it because it says it's a hole maker? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, it, but it makes it in metal, right? It does. So this is for making your connection points on your blanks. It's for using with your sheet metal, so your sheet copper. Um, it's, you can use it on your scales, so you can add an extra hole in the bottom of your scales if you want to connect them in a different way. And this is the larger of the hole making punches. There is a smaller version, this is the larger version, and it gives you two different sizes on there. And all you do is you wind up the handle so that the, the pin inside goes to the top, you put your metal mm -hmm. in, and then now, you wind it back down. There we go. So those holes have been created by this, Sarah, on, the, yes. on that piece there. So where the, where the leather has been wrapped mm -hmm. through, which we've just shown you lots of opportunities for that. And also, do you see the stamping kit that I showed you earlier on? Which, 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 which again, you just literally dink, obviously, on your, on your, um, on your metal. On your metal, but on your block as well to protect the surface. One, one, one big hard punch, um, and then it's the hole maker that has been used to actually sort of thread them together. Whether that be wire, whether that be your cord, whether it be a satin cord, whether it be a leather, whichever it might be. Now, um, I'm going to ask a question here. Uh, uh, probably, I, I don't, I genuinely don't know the answer, but only because it's something, uh, an issue. You, I have to go and have holes made in leather in my belts. Yeah. Could you use this? As long as it would go through, I wouldn't, couldn't see why you couldn't use if it. If it goes through metal. Yeah. What I would do is, if you've got, you know, if you've got a, um, a bit that you can't see, for instance, try it on there. Yeah. Um, you can get um, other types of punches that are meant for metal that go straight down, but uh, for, for leather. But I can't see why, you, why it wouldn't go through. No, I was going to say different densities, yeah. and if it's for metal, then it's going to be harder. Um, okay, this is new, beautifully matched. Let's introduce your amazing jewelry maker price point, eight ninety five, uh, just incredible. And like I said, you can make. I, I, I'm thinking you could have sort of maybe with your scale mail or with the with the metal discs, mm -hmm. you can make almost bibs, couldn't you, to go really across the decolletage. Yeah. yeah. And that's something that you're seeing more and more of the really big, big, big pieces, mm -hmm. especially now. Um, I, I don't know if you sort of headdresses are very on trend. You know, sort of the the headdresses which sort of where you have the chain like so and then um, you could actually have the sort of metal going through the center of the hair um, also I know Gemma was wearing that wonderful sort of uh, chain uh, what do you call it a sort of body body chain yeah yes <clears throat> they're on all the websites right now all the websites and you could connect them with 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 your big sort of staple um, your big your big metal discs yes definitely I mean you can you can just use so much you know all your metal work can be used in so many different ways um you know you can put, put it on top of leather once you've got your discs cut out you know yeah. or your metal cut out and then you can do it uh, collect it onto that there it is it look, it onto your look lovely yeah absolutely so 8.95 uh leave that with you congratulations to you uh 
What no, what what is what is it in Welsh? <laughs> Scythe. What's five? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how Ollie remembers number five. Do you know it's Ollie's birthday today? What's that uh, saying again? Property Ping is microwave, yeah. They love microwave in Welsh. <laughs> Property Ping. Property Ping. Now, let's bring you some pearls. Only, only, uh, poor Dion got a bit wrong saying Pipty Pong. <laughs> right, look at that. If you got involved earlier, you saw those huge 10 by 9 millimeter champagne pearls which did sell out. Here's an opportunity with your Baroque shape. Again, work wonderfully with your Biwa pearls that I brought you just moments ago. Look at that combination. Very bridal, very feminine. Coco Chanel said pearls are always appropriate, and I, for one, am never going to argue with that wonderfully classy lady. Um, it is, oh gosh, we've only got seven minutes remaining in show. Uh, wonderful organic colour, uh, wonderfully complementary, maybe team it with a bit of beryl, team it with your morganite, so that sort of delicacy. It's, it, it is one of those, uh, well pearls, again, we were talking earlier on and I know we, we've harped on about it quite a lot this, e uh, this afternoon, but it's all about... Um, there are so many copies out there and first way you can you can't actually go up to people and actually do the teeth test can you because that's a way of testing whether pearls are real if they've got a grainy texture then they're real if they're, if they're smooth then they're not they're plastic um, but you can't do that to other people's jewelry can you you probably wouldn't be thanked for it. <laughs> um, uh, but with your Baroque pills and your Biwa pills in particular, because they have got that sort of beautiful organic formation, it does say, look, I am the real deal. Um, this is just emphasising how pills have literally transcended through the generations, even dating back to the 1500s uh, with Queen Elizabeth I, <coughs> and of course up to Audrey Hepburn. Uh, you've got the First Lady there. You've got... Uh, um, um, Marilyn Monroe, obviously our current queen, etc. June's birthstone, let's introduce that price point. Seven ninety five only. Um, I always always maintain. Sorry to do that. Uh, always maintain. Just keep pills simple. I like just a classic classic strand. Maybe insert one of your black spinels in this for a little bit of uh, added added drama. Maybe just on the bias. That's what I'm thinking. Just want, would you agree, Sarah? Just one black spinel. Yeah, you could do. Just maybe even just three or four. You know, maybe just around that central section. I think it'd look lovely. Or d falling down as uh, maybe as oh down the back of the neckline. Yeah, why not? On some chain, that would be amazing. Uh, good luck to every every single one of you. Seven ninety-five. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. To my left. I love this. I love this. Now I've only got a couple more deals to bring you. Oh, this is like um, lemon sherbet. Really citrusy. Maybe put a little bit of red in there and you've got, you've got your apples, your apple colours, haven't you? Um, look at that. Now, different shapes, you've got different sizes, sorry, different sizes rather. They are all, all beautiful rounds. Uh, and you're looking at 8mm, 6mm and 10mm. Um, now, how many have I got of, of these? Less than 50. Let's bring it to you at a clearance price. Three strands. Very zesty. I love this colour. I've only got a couple of deals that I can bring you now um, at, come the end of the show. So good luck to you. And of course, we have got Sarah's, uh, Sarah's Challenge. 7 95 uh, I adore that. That wonderful yellows and greens. And I'm looking for maybe a little bit, a little bit of... Um, yeah, look how much you are getting. Maybe uh, this is literally the closest red that I can get hold of. And look how then it sort of transports it to sort of your apple tones. Uh, absolutely, absolutely adore. Uh, good luck to you. Three strands. This has been looking, capturing my eye throughout the entirety of the morning. This bundle has been capturing my, uh, my eye uh, because you've got, I have got spring on my mind. Uh, and yellow is one of those, it, it is that, it's, 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 it's a cheerful, cheerful colour and you do start thinking about your spring and summer months. Maybe start uh, looking at your peridots with this. Uh, maybe start incorporating, I don't know, uh, uh, maybe the odd chrome diopside with this opportunity. Beautiful, beautiful quartzite. Not needed because it's got enough colour in its own right. Um, and I like the fact you could actually sort of mix up the different shapes and maybe have as, as an entire decolletage piece. Well done, 7 95 an absolute clearance deal. Now, I did challenge Sarah and she chose to accept it, you know. Um, 
Are you glad you accepted it? Of course. Always good. glad to have a challenge. Good. Uh, good, 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 because um, if you didn't, mm -hmm. then we wouldn't be able to see. Uh, have I got the challenge? Let's bring it over. Let's bring it over. Now, I wouldn't be able to see these amazing makes that you've created. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love that bracelet. <laughs> Four makes. Five. Five makes. I just haven't got those on the stand just yet. And a pair of earrings. Yeah. Let me to quickly grab one. Oh, now, and you've still got loads left, haven't you? Okay. You've still got loads and loads got and loads left. left. You could make, you could probably make another 20 pairs of earrings there, couldn't you? And the rest, yeah. Got and loads. the rest. Uh, look at that. Three strands that you're getting with this opportunity. You know, you made a beautiful sort of hair, uh, hairpin, uh, a very sort of geometric uh, bib that you're seeing here, um, an elongated and that wonderful, is that 1.5 wire? Yeah, it's 1.5, yes. Yeah. 1.5 all from three strands um, and they've got those differing shapes which was it oh sorry four strands mm -hmm. big different shapes which is your favorite out of those shapes it's hard to answer I think that. it's the top drill pairs I yeah. love those because they allow you to create the flower shapes yeah. the florals but I, I also love the, the flat discs the flat rounds the buttons yes the buttons because they can lie yeah. beautifully can't they now 17.95 for four strands we were talking earlier about how much they, they, they are staples for, for, for your collection definitely I mean whether you want to keep them simple and use them on their own like I have or whether you want to use them with all your colors so if you've got the color pop kit that we did in yes. the last one you had to use those that with will that. soften it slightly wouldn't well, it it will it'll just tone those colors out and if you want to you know just use them for with your blacks and neutrals. Black spinel. Yeah. That's what, exactly mm -hmm. what I was about to say. With the black spinel that I brought you just moments ago, that would be absolutely incredible. And it's very gem heavy. I mean, one of those, and you've got your white quartz stash, a stash already, already mm -hmm. um, absolutely there. Because you've got the versatility of the shapes, you've got the versatility of the sizes, etc. Um, amazing. Now, oh my word. Becky, come and show me this. Do you love it? <laughs> Look how amazing! Good morning, everybody. Oh wow. my goodness! How astonishing is that? This is coming up on the mid show. Oh my goodness! <laughs> okay, uh, that is coming up. So make sure you do just stay tuned with Becky. Amazing, absolutely amazing. Um, it's been lovely being back with you, uh, jewelry makers. I hope you're well. I hope you've enjoyed the show, and I hope I can get come back and see you sometime soon. Thank you, my darling, for joining me. It's been way too long, hasn't it? Has. It has far too long. It's been far too long. <laughs> Join Becky and Alison. That's amazing. It's coming up after this. <laughs> Guest designer Rachel Norris on her Artisan Earrings DVD. Get creating stunning designs in no time at all through the fantastic tuition from Rachel. The easy to follow steps shown on this DVD will make you feel like you have your own personal tutor and experience many different techniques specifically designed for creating earrings. This DVD covers how to make your own findings, Aztec, Art Deco and Aphrodite earrings. To get your hands on a copy of this fantastic DVD, contact our call centre on 